and gentlemen, the cross of the Lord, come and I'm Baba Di Daba Di Baba Baba Di Baba 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 Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, from the Kyber Empire to the Grand Arena Coliseum! <laughs> Baby girlfriend! It's a busy day here in an Alderaan within the Kyber Empire, expanding our Triple B domination, the mobile gaming domination! Because let me remind you of something, we're the best. The greatest gift of mobile gaming in the history of all of humanity. And today, y'all, let's get you guys on over and get you a little briefing. We're gonna hop straight into it, y'all. Calm down, calm down, calm down, all right? We're gonna be hopping straight into it. We're gonna be doing, and the first part is gonna be doing our normal climb to infinite. We're at 85, I believe. We're gonna talk about some of the 70s struggles and what just finally hit the road and got me going. And then in a little bit, we're gonna have snow guard come to marvel snap and roughly we'll have timestamps. so if you're watching a little bit later we'll have timestamps to kind of jump you straight to it uh so whenever this resets in about two and a half hours snow guard's gonna be here so that puts us at about what is that was that 2 p.m central us so we're gonna have a little bit of fun doing our normal climb and why don't we talk about real quick uh about my uh, boy climb uh geez sweat fest sweat fest we all love a good sweat fest, don't we? Hey, Rich Homie Laquan, 499. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. I like to think I inspired this. <laughs> JK, can't wait for the stream, baby. Yeah, you know, I always like to try to get at least one stream in a week. And today, oh boy, we have a lot on the table for Marvel Snap. And for my Galaxy of Heroes peeps, I expect we're probably going to have a kit reveal later on today. So a lot of fun stuff we're going to have here. So thank you so much, Rich Homie Laquan, for stopping by. As well as Sea Ship Fly. Uh, clog it. Dread goes 501. Sea ship fly again. Footsteps gaming. Nathan Farmer. Moro Cable Coon. Harness Sea. Squidly Jugglefish. Jalen Gaddon. And time uh, to, to, to Tamir 42. Tyler Hammer. And then we have Harnish and Birkin as well. All right. So let's talk about the season real quick. So uh, first, first week, you know, I, I don't play like 20 hours a day. But I was like playing throughout the week and you know, I kind of just was stuck at the 70s. I would go to like the 71, the 69, <laughs> and kind of this little teeter-totter going between Doom Wave, Hit Monkey, Dark Hawk, and mm, D Devil Dino. Nothing was sticking and you know me, I'm too good to play Leech. I think Leech should be deleted from the game permanently. And I think you should have your Marvel Snap license revoked for anyone who's using Leech. I'm just saying. But finally, we went back to basics. Bread and butter things that I use for most of my infinite climbs and Boom. I just used my traditional. Gary does a fantastic job with the music you had going on there. Man, give me. Yeah, there we go. Pound it. There we go. I started using this. And finally, it was sticking. And I think, it, you know, you know that frustration where you're just tired of getting your butt whipped and you're losing massive cubes. I think what works great about this deck, it was so peaceful because at most I'm losing like maybe two cubes occasionally for I never lose eight cubes because you know when you're going to win and lose, it's easier to manage a one zone rather than three zones. And I hate to say it, I kind of have grown an appreciation for Kang with this deck, especially. I've got a couple bluffs or people think I'm actually serious and I got a couple free cubes. It helped me back out and save me a lot of cubes. And sometimes it helped me proofread my work and make sure we get the win when our opponent still doubles down. So this card, oddly, I've been actually thoroughly enjoying. Uh, this season so what we're gonna do is do it you know it's well, the only thing the only downside about galactus is that it's uh the, one it's some it's it's telegraphed right you can kind of see when it's coming and then you know either your opponent has an answer or they don't have an answer or secondly you know it's you're not gonna get a lot of eight cube wins yeah you're gonna get a couple here and there once in a while but it's mostly like a two four cube one cube win so it's a steady climb but i'd rather have a steady climb i went from 70 to 85 or technically 70 to 80 jumped to 85 in literally like on Saturday, when Monday, whenever the season reset to Saturday, I was stuck in limbo land. I hit Galactus and it was peaceful. There was no rage. It's like, okay, I lost it. Take your cube and I keep moving on. Check your bluebird, says Michael Ross. Let's check the bluebird. Michael Ross, boy, you're following me in the second channel too. I was not expecting it. Let, let the, the theory reach out. Let's see. Michael Rossi has been like trying to link this up forever now. 
I, I don't see anything on Bluebird. What's on Bluebird? I got nothing. I got nothing. Nothing on the Bluebird. Michael Ross, you got my hopes up. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe later. Maybe later, Michael. Yeah, I'm looking on there. Nothing. Uh, no notifications or stuff like that. What did the, did you talk to Theory yesterday? It's gonna be kind of fun having a, if we have ever have that chat with them. It's gonna be kind of fun. Thanks, My Michael's been pushing. He's in, for those that don't follow the main channel. Michael Ross has been trying to get us to get on a Star Wars Theory stream of some sort. So I'm sure it's gonna happen one of these days. I just don't see any notification. I'll check later. Maybe something will happen later. Thank you, Michael Ross. Always being on top of things around here. And thanks for being on the second channel, too. This is more my, this passion project, I guess, second channel. Let's do it. Let's get down into it. Start getting some plays rolling. Uh, pull up the Nolactus. We're at 85 right now. And just let's hope we have a nice, steady climb getting to infinite. And again, it's all about cube management. When to snap, when to back out. You got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. You know the drill. Let's go, Gary. Bring him on over. No, no, no. Big screen. Yeah, let's go. I'll see you over there. Oh, dang. Look at that. The hub gave us a pretty nice card. I'll take that, Professor X. Please and thank you. Uh, all right. Let's go skip out on turns. So what are we seeing right now? We see we have ramp. All right. So we can maybe do turn four Doc Ock. Maybe we'll get a turn five Galactus. Let's wait and see what we got. I would really love to have Daredevil right now, just so I can maybe take advantage of this Professor X that we were given. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. All right, Nexus. All right, uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna throw all this down over here. I'm assuming this is probably gonna be a Hit Monkey deck, bounce deck, something of that sort. Yeah, probably gonna see something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, got the ramp going. Turn four. Let's go. All right, there it is. So what we're gonna do here? Gosh, I probably. Uh, Probably, 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 probably. Uh, here's the thing. <sighs> we probably should dock out come, shouldn't we? Clog up a zone. We have, boy, this is probably a snap opportunity right here. It's just one of those things I want to... All right, let's snap. Let's go for it. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go. Pull them on in. I was, I was just debating. Do I want to just pull out two cards and clog them up here? Or would I rather pull them out in, like, Jotunheim or the hub? All right, here we go. Dark Hawk coming in. Nicely done. We're going to go yank out those cards over there. Let's see what we pull out. I'm guessing maybe uh, Hit Monkey. Yep, there it is. There's that Hit Monkey we're talking about. All right, and then we have Hazmat coming in. All right. So, this is what I kind of wish I had. Um... All right, this is kind of when I'm sitting here. It's like, oh, man, I kind of wish we had Daredevil just to make sure we double check our work. So we can play Galactus there, make sure we don't have priority, and then all we gotta do is play Null, we'll have a 20 powered Null, and that's probably gonna be enough, and let's see, or, the thing is we just don't want initiative, right? All right, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Sarah, uh-uh-uh. No, thank you, not for you. Let's go yeet out, everyone. Galactus. All right, there we go. And I think, I think, I think we could probably play maybe Null and Death. Let's see. Not quite. All right, we can just play Null. That's fine. 25 power Null, probably gonna be more than enough for us to handle that. All right, let's do it. 25 power. Can they somehow get from six to 25? That's off. That's asking for an awful lot. I say, let's go for it. Let's see what they got. They can't Shang-Chi me. That's why it's kind of nice. If you are going to play Null, you want to go second. You don't want to go first in case they might have a Shang-Chi of some sort. Let's see what we get here. Let's go. Velox, we going for it? We're going to the finish line. Any other way uh, the bounce that could screw me over? I can't imagine they're going to throw down. Yeah, they need to throw down. What is that? Boy, I can't. 19 power? I don't know. It seems like a lot. Uh, seems like a lot. Destroy Nora always wins. Yeah, Destroy is also fine. And there you go. We got our two cubes. Yeah, it's not four eight, but I'd rather have consistent one two cube wins than get maybe two cubes and lose four, then lose eight, then win two. You know what I mean? There's just a, the, the variance is a lot more controlled and it's just a more peaceful climb. There we go. And that's how you play Galactus. Not much to it, y'all. But also, I am the king of Galactus, so, you know, let's not, let's not uh, forget about that too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, all right. Hey, how we doing, Jack? Great seeing you here. All right. Let's go. Knock Shadow. What do we got, baby? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right. Quantum Realm. Quantum Realm. And there's Kang. So we might be able to use Kang. Uh, Kang is sometimes nice for turn five, turn six. I just want to make sure I know what I'm getting into. You know? 
and because they're most people are they're going to play their best play they're not assuming you're playing a king right maybe best case scenario we kind of trick a few fools with them all right cool q q q q so let's go hmm just wondering where i want to place this deer devil because that's not going to hurt us too much uh let's do it i don't know actually i'm let's go yeah let's go do it let's go let's do it hey colin how are we doing 499 i'm actually going to meet charlie cox who plays daredevil speak of the devil <laughs> at a fan expo in dallas in june i'm excited uh for tarful this week hopefully oh my guy i'm excited for that sounds like a lot of fun i don't know if tarful's gonna come this week i think next week but i do expect we're gonna get the next conquest announcement today oh jotunheim back to back uh all right any purpose of wave so this might look this might be a possible destroyer play where hmm, i guess it really doesn't matter she's gonna be two no matter what zone i put her in what we could do is we could just kind of treat this like a destroyer we go ahead we play the wave maybe galactus shows up maybe he doesn't and then we could just if not we play destroyer then doc ock or something like that we have a couple of workarounds that's nice the nice thing about this like you do have a kind of a backup option uh to play around with all right what do we got here all right we're gonna reduce our power got cyclops okay let's see no galactus but we do have destroyers so why don't we go ahead just play the story down the middle and we'll do turn five doc ock lock him up in jotunheim uh, probably don't want to pull him in quantum realm that probably would help him out if anything i do expect this is probably going to be a patriot deck let's go and see what we got let's see how what we got here hey caleb weeks five dollars just on like galactus last night and climbed 20 ranks in one day galactus is the real deal favorite card by far hope you have a great stream today thank you so much caleb yeah galactus is uh it's a lot of fun and i just it's, i think it's great for cube management all right blue marble coming out all right so probably no galactus play here yeah nothing we can do there what we're gonna do is probably yank him on over into jultenheim and um yeah i'm not seeing a great play right now let's go we'll yank some cards out maybe that'll mess them up maybe we can shang chi them or something i don't know let's see what we got oh that really messes them up a little bit doesn't it so they're done <laughs> <laughs> all right so here's what i can do we can really uh we can really try to maybe scare them here so this is this i, I don't know if we're gonna win this oh that actually helped me out so okay cool we have ourselves a pretty decently powered no but here's what i'm gonna do all right i'm gonna scare them let's scare them they can't play any cards so they're like what is this guy doing uh, I because i know what the final score is the beat so we're gonna go to play the king let's see if they stick around will they stick around for four cubes let's see will they stick around very curious if this is if this is gonna work out let's see so this is this might work just because of king are they gonna go for it i have no play that i could think of right now that can beat this yeah i i i, I can't, i'm losing into mystique pulling blue marvel is very helpful let's see is king gonna win this for us and worst case scenario they don't buy it and then i just back out i give them just a cube instead of four so that's just how it goes baby this how it goes how, what are cubes it's basically your gambling chips that's what it is and you want to get so many gambling chips to move up the ranks this person's thinking hard they're like boy is this guy serious can he beat me i mean uh what could i maybe if i had enchantress that could maybe stop some of the stuff that's going on here uh but i don't have enchantress all right they're gonna go for it all right so likely i tried scaring him didn't work sometimes people will back out all right so let's see 19 18 21 is there a way out of this probably not the mystique pulling out the blue marvel is very helpful so yeah like what we're gonna do is back out of this one and that's fine i'd rather just lose one cube than multiple cubes so yeah i can only win one zone I, that's not enough to win there that's not enough to win there yeah be back out and that's it you know you just lose your one cube and you be I, let's see will they stick around still all right they'll stick around so they'll get their one cube nice oh hi right, michael how we do i don't use the bluebird very much maybe i did it wrong go to rosie mma 23 john boyega met with disney the same time as daisy he was still cold they're on better terms but he said to recast no way i i find that so hard to believe let's see yeah uh, oh here we go we got some new notifications we got some new notifications let's see this all right oh this is from uh, theory stream let's go check it out real quick let's see some star wars stuff let's see what we got we, we got a huge super chat from michael rossi that just came in 200 bucks I, I'm, I'm i'll show it up on hold on, 200 bucks michael holy cow you're a high roller spot, but um 200 bucks from michael thank you michael he said holy cow asked, weeks ago if you two could have Arnold t101 on i showed him the clip of the super chat i sent you guys 
talking about him. Arnold T was so happy that you two liked him. He also loves nerd theory. He tried to reach out, but he's not very social media savvy. Can you two reach out on the Bluebird to get him on? Oh, on Twitter? Yeah, it'd be fun tweeters. to have him on one day. Yeah, it would be for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely! We, we huge super chat from Michael Rossi that just came in. Yeah, I think I'm following. Let me I'm, see. I'm, I'll show it up on... Oh, that's me. I, I clicked on my name. Hold on. Real Star Wars Theory. Yeah, I don't think I can message them. Yeah, because I think uh, they have it where... Yeah, he has it where... He, I think you only can message if you're, like, mutually following. We don't mutually follow each other. But, yeah, if, we, if I ever see that mutual follow come in, heck, yeah. I'll make sure I can do it on my end. Yeah, Instagram. I, <laughs> I don't know why I can't get on Instagram. It says I gotta, like, re-sign in. I was like, dude, I'm already signed in. Uh, yeah, I... I just, yeah, I don't use social media much. I, I try to minimize it. So, yeah, it's probably to my detriment here. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Where the heck is my... There it is. Let's pull it back up. Thanks, Michael. Maybe I'll, I'll retweet it after our stream today here and be like, yo, Star Wars Theory, let's make it happen. Let's do it, baby. Let's do That would be amazing. Yeah, it'd be a lot of fun. It'd be a lot of fun to talk with some um, other Star Wars folks. That'd be real awful. Michael, I greatly appreciate you. Michael's been pushing and pushing and pushing. Like, they, they non-stop, day and night, getting the Star Wars theories brain. Let's make it happen. You probably super chatted the guy, like, a bajillion dollars. <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's nice that they know me. Uh, it's, it's good. It's good stuff that they know the King of Trippy, Michael. Appreciate you again. It's going to I'm telling you, it's going to happen. It just, you know, we're just, like, we got to get, like, this communication line going. That's all it is. We just got to, yeah, just, uh... But yeah, I have my thing, my DMs open, I think. Yeah, but yeah, he just has to follow me, and then boom, we're up, we're up and about. All right, let's do another battle here. Uh, not much I could do in this. Is this turn two? Did I miss something? All right, let's go. Skip it out. Skip out, skip out, skip out. And then what else we have? I got Caleb. I got Caleb as well. I got Michael Rossi. We on top, baby. All right. Angela, is this going to be another bounce? All right, so we have... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so we can play. Maybe I'll get this destroyed. Yeah, it's probably another bounce deck. I almost feel like I should maybe snap here. Is this snap worthy? Is this going to be snap worthy? I mean, this kind of helps them, right? Mm, I, I wish I had some more confidence in snapping on this play here. I just don't see Galactus. I mean, I could maybe Spider-Man him on that zone, turn five, and completely lock him out. Uh, I don't know if I feel confident enough here. Let's see how this goes. Let's go for it. Let's see. All right, we're going to go yank out this Dr. Doom. Or not Dr. Doc Ock pulling out. What do we got here? All right. Mysterio. Okay, that's wasted. That's wasted. All right, man. This, that kind of helps him out a little bit. And then they're going to get one more. They got Sarah. Okay, final score on that. All right. We Hopefully, we can get Null into play. And that can give us back the, and the, oh that's gorgeous that's gorgeous all right so we could do probably i'm guessing i mean they're probably gonna spam a lot of cards on stark tower right now yeah oh they ba okay i actually wasn't feeling great about that i feel like i didn't have the right cards to connect the dots there but i'll take it yeah no basically gave me back that power so i could put Noel back there and play the <laughs> play the russian roulette on that but there we go you just get that cube back baby are you able to purchase the card series? It's called... Hold on. Hold on. I don't know if you follow me on my main channel. I literally list out step by step. Step by step how we do it. Let me explain it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, this, I don't think they're aware of the, the official guide to dominating in mobile games. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Right there. All right. Turn this off for a second, Gary. Hold on. All right. Okay. Here you go. Here's your official guide and how we make this happen. Gary, you ready? Three, two, one. Crank it up a little bit for me. What's your name? Who's your daddy? Does it wear?
recommend giving it a little listen in case you want a more in-depth breakdown on how to be the very best in mobile games. It's, uh, it's probably the greatest guide that ever exists for all mobile games. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the quick short summary of it, but I'm sure you can take a little peek and get all the little nooks and crannies that I, yeah, I skipped out on the rest of those details right there. You got a whale hunter, baby! Uh, well, okay, a few things. One, yes, whaling hard. I spend about roughly a uh, hundred bucks a month, probably. Yeah, in gold, so you can get credits. And then when you use the credits to upgrade cards, boom, you get a lot of click tokens. And when your pool three complete, you're gonna get, you know, a lot of tokens. There's not much to it. There's not a free to play way of getting that many tokens, my friend. It is cheaper compared to other mobile games out there, hundred percent, but it still requires some moolah, baby. That's just how it goes. Just give them the, those three wacky numbers, just like we say in the song. <laughs> you got gas in the day. Congrats, Jack. Love to hear it. Ooh, all right. Plus one energy. I don't know if I can really do much of that. No, it's unfortunately going to be wasted. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, honey. All right. Okay. Hey, all right. So we have ourselves a wave into Galactus and Spider-Man potentially probably... Probably should snap here, shouldn't I? Um, yeah, you know, things can go wrong. I mean, they don't know what I'm playing. I could be playing Doom. They don't quite know what we're playing, so I'm gonna go snap. Let's see. Will they snap back at me? Let's see what happens. Let's, will this be a four cube game? I mean, I wouldn't mind it. So yeah, Galactus, turn four. Spooderman, turn five. Here we go. We got Wave coming in. All right, what do we got over there? Green Goblin, that's kind of all right by me. This could be a possible junk deck. Junk decks are a little annoying to deal with. Who has priority? I have priority. Great. So let's go. We're going to go just... I kind of... You know what? I kind of will do this. I kind of don't mind Dream Dimension because I'm just going to play Spider-Man. Turn four. All right. We have priority. Let's go. All right. Let's see. Maybe they got the right zone locked in. Let's see what we got. Here we go, baby. What's the play? So we're going to delete all that. Null's not going to be a good play here. This is all negative power. We don't like that. Yuck. Yeah, he basically is negative four. Oh, so sad. So sad. So this works for me because I'm just going to play Spider-Man, one of the more toxic plays in this game. 100%. Let's go. Spooderman him up. Let's see uh, if they have a, any sort of counter play. I mean, uh, let's see. We got all right, Mystique. They're going to copy that. All right. And then what do we got here? What are they going to play? Wasp. Let's go Spider-Man him up. And that's game over right there. Give him the bro fist. And there we go. <laughs> it's a toxic play. What can I say? That's just how it goes. That's just how it goes. And we got two. It's just this nice steady. Like, wouldn't you rather have a nice steady climb, minimum cube losses, decent cube gains, rather than doing the whole lottery of winning a lot of cubes, losing a lot of cubes. I like this a lot more. It's just so much nicer. So much nicer, baby. There we go. Upgrading our Shang. All right. Up the ladder we go, y'all. Got some shocker. Got some gold. All right. Let's keep them chains moving along. Uh, token shop doesn't appear because you're not pulled through. No, no, no. Uh, so token shop's not going to appear when you're a brand new player. When does token shop kick in? I think token shop kicks in once you're... Is it pool one or pool two complete? It's one of those. Uh... You don't need the pull three complete to see the, I mean, you see the, you see the token shop when you're in pull three. I'm pretty sure it's when you're pull two complete, uh, you start seeing it. I'm pretty sure that's when it goes. Yeah. When do I reach pull three? Do you not watch my videos? I have, I made this whole beautiful guy talking about, oh man, here's everything you need to know. No one watches my videos. <sighs> Marvel snap pools. Yeah, I actually highly recommend. If you have a lot of like beginner questions, I have like a whole video beginner guide dedicated for Marvel Snap. It's, it answers a lot of those car uh, questions. Um, here you go. Uh, it, it's here you go. Let's just show this real quick. All right. So pool one completes at 214. Pool two completes at 474. Pool three complete. It's kind of up in the air. I think I was 3,000 something, but you'll be for sure done with pool two by the time you get over to uh, 474. And then I think that's when you start seeing the token shop. Pretty certain of it. All right, let's get back over some domination, uh, shall we? All right, round two. I got nothing to play. Let's go. All right, Iceman. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, yeah, it's actually kind of very annoying. Actually, I don't know if I could do much here. Yeah, I mean, I could do this. That's really the best I got. Let's do it. 
Yeah, I mean, we could still do Electro turn four. It's just a really, yeah, they hit two really good cards. It, it sucks that Iceman is guaranteed to hit like a card less than six. Like it would have been great if we could have done something else. All right, this tower. Let's go ahead and try to yeet out a few things here. Let's go. Yeet. All right, we got that yeeted. Give me another one. Jug got yeeted out. Eh, nothing crazy. Oh, that's actually kind of, that's great for me. That's great. All right, not great for Noel, but great for me. All right, get rid of that Hobgoblin. Nice. All right. Um. All right, what do we want to do here? I don't think it's worth Spider-Manning them up right now. Kind of a waste. I don't even care about that middle zone. I doubt we're going to win that middle zone with what we have. I say, I say, I say, let's just, uh, yeah. Yeah, this isn't going to be a Galactus round. I don't even know if Electro's worth playing here. Hmm. Yeah, Spider-Man's kind of... Spider-Man's... If you're going to use him, it's got to be turn five. Yeah. All right, let's go for it. Let's try it out. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Jessica Jones. That's fine. We kind of already accepted. We're not going to bother that zone. Hopefully, we can get a good, a good Spooderman on the left. And we have Kang, so we can double check our turn six play. All right, so we're going to go Spooderman this guy up. I don't know if I'm feeling great about snapping right now. I mean, they could play something really good here. Let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna go Spooderman him. Let's see what we got. We have priority. And uh, and then, yeah, we'll just play King to just double check the final play on turn six. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes, baby. Can you see how it goes? All right, what do we got? We're gonna Spooderman him. All right, so he can't use that turn six likely. What do we got over there? We both got Spooderman. All right, so we're gonna be tied. We're gonna be tied there for now. But what I'm gonna do, let's try to put the fear of God in them. Let's snap. We have Purdy. There's no risk in playing King. Let's see if they're going to go for it. They don't know I'm playing King. They could be like, dang, this guy might have a good play. Is it worth putting four cubes on the line? We'll see. We'll see what they got. We have death. It looks like it's going to basically come down to if they have Dr. Doom to get in those zones. That could be a problem for us. It could just come down to a tie between the Flooded and Sakaar. So let's see uh, what we're looking at here. If they have Shang-Chi, we're probably going to leave this. Let's see. All right. King. Magneto. Ooh, yeah, that's the and that's why we want to check this because we could have lost there. And that's the beauty of Kang. In a situation where I maybe would have went for it, he just saved me a couple cubes. Yeah, there's no way of getting out of that. Magneto, uh, big MVP. We lost two zones. We get out of here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, okay, maybe we could play death. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, with these guys not keeping the tie, we are guaranteed to lose that. So. Let's just get out of here. We're going to retreat later. Yeah, we'll just retreat later. Give him the cube. Let's keep it going, baby. There we go. All right. See, you know, just lose a cube. It's a slow, steady grind. It's a slow, steady grind. Theory butchered your name. <laughs> All right, let's retweet it, Michael. Retweet it. I should have spent the 200 on you. I was trying to get their attention. They left the SC up every time the stream paused. Uh, you will get your cash when I recover. You are better engaged. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I, I, I kind of maybe get it. They, maybe they want to, but they don't want to. So, I, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to, like, impose on them. They might just not want me there. And that's, they, they, maybe they do, but they don't, you know. I kind of get it. So, I'm not taking, I don't take it personally. If that's the way it goes here, I'll retweet it real quick. I'll retweet it with, re real quick. Let's see, quote, retweet, what, what should I say? The king of triple B. On. All right, hold on, hold on. We're, 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 we're gonna try to compose a, a beautifully worded tweet for you. Stream to infinite, no, probably not today. Uh, th that stream to infinite was really, uh, I hate to say it, a moment of desperation. Like I see my life was in, I hate to say it. It was just like, I just could not focus on other things because I was so frustrated with being stuck. I don't feel frustration right now. I feel pretty calm. It's like, you know, I'm just nice steady climb. I'll get to infinite. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't been ticked. I've been playing Galactus. And it's like, all right, if I do have that moment of desperation, I can't sleep because my mind's so focused on it. I can't do other things. I, I, I got a probably a legit addiction to the game. Yeah, then maybe we'll do it. All right. All right, here we go. Let's go. Uh, let's do a quick. Uh, all right, so the king of triple B being requested on Star Wars Theory? Question mark. Let's make it happen. 
There we go. All right. There we go. How are we, how are we feeling about that? How are we feeling about that? Let's make it happen. The king of Trib B being requested on real Star Wars theory. Let's make it happen. Your last time to climb was the, the Mold Hawk deck was legendary. It was great. It was a, yeah, I like that deck a lot. It was a lot of fun. Uh, for some reason, I haven't been able to like build the steam I wanted this season. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, you've been a long time SD Rich player and started playing Stamp out a month ago. Your videos have been great. Don't think I'll chase the metal like I do in Star Wars. It's just fun. It's just a fun side game. That's why we, that's why you play it here. What are we thinking, Michael? We're, we, we're feeling good? You feeling good about this? I'll let you be my, my PR specialist. I'll just have a quick look. Uh, uh, wait, wait. I'll just take a quick look. Have fun. See you in GAC. Music and Atkinburg. Great having you over here, my friend. Yeah, we'll be back in GAC at Thursday on the main channel. Don't you worry, buddy. We'll see you there. All right. Let's see. Let's change her B. Yeah, let's go for it. I feel like there's like, I feel like there's like something. Put the cherry on top here. Gary. No, Gary. Let's make it. Hold on. Gary. Th this, I I'm missing Gary. Gary. Let's make it happen. There we go. I think, I think that's what we need. There we go. Come down over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Galactus is so easy. It's easy to know when to snap and you can easily climb to infinite 76 to 105 in a day for me. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of, um, that's kind of the experience that I've been having. You know, I just, you know, you got to make sure you have that confidence. I mean, they could easily stop a Galactus play. They might be able to predict it, throw a Cosmo, a Polaris. I, I haven't seen as many arrows. Arrow getting nerfed kind of helped out a little bit. Not as much uh, arrow play going on. But yeah, it's, um, it's a very peaceful deck to climb with. It is. <laughs> <laughs> What's my favorite variant in the game? Oh boy, I don't know if I have a favorite artist. I don't keep track of that stuff. My favorite variants are all the pixel arts. I really want to get the Spider-Man pixel art. That's just me. I don't know. I, I, they, 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 it fits my persona. I like the troll. And, and just like anything that's pixel art feels like the ultimate troll. <laughs> that's just how it is for me. <laughs> all right. Let's see. All right, let's go throw it on Yondu. We got Daredevil. All right, give me some ramp, and we're talking business. All right, Magneto. That's great. Did I fight? I already. I feel like I fought this person already. All right, Gamma Lab coming in. Ooh, that could be great for Null to get some big ju. Uh, you know, was is it worth putting Daredevil there? All right, let's see. Oh, this kind of that sucks. All right, no Galactus here unfortunately but what i'll do is maybe we'll hope and pray we get null this is gonna be a pretty tricky play yeah we're not gonna get galactus here bad locations but they can maybe play galactus um uh, i mean actually oh it's only after turn four yeah after turn four they probably we could have maybe fit ourselves in there all right what i can do now is we're gonna go just yeet all these folks out Let's go over here. Let's eat up all these hulks. Hopefully, Noel shows up. Let's see what we got. Not feeling the snap opportunity quite yet. I'm not sure if it was great to give up. Uh, yeah, locations, locations. All right, here we go. Are they playing Galactus? No, Sandman. Okay, yeah, so it's some kind of hard. When you see Electro, it's kind of hard to tell if it's going to be Sandman or Electro. All right. How are we doing here? All right. So the Oh, that's gorgeous. That is brilliant. All right. So we have a big power. Noel, not mad about that. So what I'm probably going to do is let's, uh, I think we need to just line up the play here. Like we have a good opportunity to win this. It just depends if we're going to get leached. They have Electro. I mean, if they would have played it, they could have played it already. Um, do I snap here? I mean, it depends. They might Shang-Chi me. They could Shang-Chi that. All right. You know what? I said, let's do it. Leech over Galactus. No, man. I, no, thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's see how it goes. This one, this, I don't know if I want to snap here. It's like one of those where I feel like this might be a dumb snap. I do dumber snaps when I'm on stream. It's like when I like if I'm probably like chilling, like a villain. I'd probably be like, eh, I don't know if I'd want to snap here. Let's do it. All right, arrow, perfect. They, they probably thought I was playing something. All right, we locked it in. That zone's good to go. I would actually love to have King right now. Didn't get King. So the good news is I don't have priority. Uh, they can't Shang Chi me. We do have a slight risk where, I mean, let's see, could they win that? I mean, if they play Dr. Doom, it would tie us there. And um, I think I would win said tie. We only can play one card each. I feel like I have the win in the bag. Yeah, I feel like I have the win in the bag here. I said we just do it. Let's go. All right, here we go. What do we got? Dr. Doom, I think that's gonna be fine. 
and we win by a massive tie. Bada bing, bada boom. It's great winning. Even without Galactus, you have a nice backup play with Destroyer and Null. Not all that bad. Not all that bad. And you know, probably arguably here, this is probably a better play than Galactus because Galactus, I probably would have only gotten two cubes. Here, I got four cubes. There we go. Yeah, we called the Doom. It was just going to tie over there. They're probably going to get five points there. We won by a massive tiebreaker. It's not really a tiebreaker. We just had the more powerful zone. There we go. Nicely done. There is our nice steady climb. Let's go ahead and upgrade the Destroyer. MVP of this play. Nicely done. Nicely done. Nicely done. Hey, Yotter, how we doing, bud? Great having you here today. All right, let's go pick up some creditos and bring up some that. All right. Let's go. Lock it in. Okay. Ooh, Arnold, we're spending 6k tokens on Kang. Oh, man. I mean, I have been enjoying Kang this season. I do feel like Kang was a very nice cube saver. And sometimes cube gainer. Sometimes. I don't think it's worth it over Galactus or Thanos. But it's one of those cards that's likely not going to drop down anytime soon. They said it's a big baddie. It's going to be a Series 5 for who knows how long. And definitely forever. A long time, but not forever. Uh, if you don't have Thanos or Galactus, I say probably not. Uh, but if you already have a Galactus, if you have Galactus, I feel like Kang is probably a good one to buy then to kind of complement the Galactus deck pretty well. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it up to you. I just don't think it's, it's, it's worth it right away. Yeah, not much. I just need Doc Ock and Spidey for my Galactus deck. You know, you got some other opportunities at your disposal. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, what if... I mean, we could. Oh boy! So we have a play. We have Wave in the Galax and the Spider-Man, the toxic play that we all love. <laughs> it is pretty dumb. <laughs> all right, um, we're gonna play the Wave. Do I snap? This is likely gonna be, if I had to guess, this is likely going to be a Shuri deck. Do I snap? They might be able to put the. All right, let's just do it. Let's do it. We have a play. It just it depends if. If they know what I'm up to, and secondly, if they are going to place something to stop Galactus in the right zone. We'll have to wait and see. All right, here we go. Zero into Hero. There's Ebony Maw. Okay, yeah, definitely a Shuri deck. So let's see what they're going to do. So we can. I say we go down here. Spider-Man next. They have priority. They could play. They could maybe just know. Hey, this guy is gonna go for Galactus. They could just. They have. They have, this deck traditionally has a Cosmo, right? I have a feeling they're gonna play Shuri though. That's my guess. All right. Um. I want to go right. Do I want to go left? All right. Let's go middle. All right. Let's see. What we got. There's a the Shuri. Kind of expected. We snow that. That's a very straightforward play. With, uh, Red Skull and whatnot. All right. Cool, cool. All right. So we're tied. Who gets priority here? They're probably going to play. Yeah, so here's the issue. Uh, if they play Red Skull, I don't know if we're going to have enough power to beat it. We're going to hope that maybe Shang-Chi shows up. Shang-Chi is kind of our saving option. So let's go web him up. And maybe they're going to back out, be like, ah, screw this guy. I'm hoping we either get Shang-Chi or Kang to, and Shang -Chi to win. <laughs> or, um, or Kang to intimidate. One of the two. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, baby. All right, they're definitely gonna go for it. No sense in not. Let's and then uh, turn six. They're gonna have to decide if it's worth staying around. Let's go, Spooder Man. I've been wanting to get my Spider Man Gold, and then I'm hoping I get the Pixel Art Spider Man. The RNG has not been on my side here. Let's see what we got, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Julian. Come on. It's okay. I won't bite. It's okay. I promise. Come on. You know you want to. You're running out of time. You're like, oh, man. Oh, gosh. It's Spider-Man. Come. And that's the win. <laughs> it feels, it's so evil. It's the most evil play of all of Marvel Snap. And there we go. Okay, uh, we didn't get King, but we got Noel in the hand. Uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah. They, okay. They're probably mad at me. They're probably going to run out the whole entire clock now. <laughs> It's okay. I understand. It's definitely one of the trollier plays. Hey, they didn't. They didn't make me wait the whole time. There you go. Taking our two cubes. Taking the two cubes there. Oh man. Oh, hold on. Give me a sec. I gotta read this. Um. Yeah. Hold on. Give me a sec.
Alright. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need um that. And then I need uh where the heck is that? Alright, there we go. Alright. Boom. Okay. Alright, sorry about that guys. Okay, let's keep moving. Another two cubes, almost to 86. That's again, nice steady climbs. You gotta maximize your wins and just keep your loss to one or two at most. What do we got? Let's move up the season pass chain. 100 creditos in the bag. Next one, let's do it. Shuri's also gonna get nerfed, so don't buy her. Yeah, we don't know what's going on of Surrey. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things they can do. A lot of things they can do. I think there's a few ways of making it so she's not gonna be ruined. Like, oh, here we go. We Oh, boy. Wave Galactus. Let's wait and see the other locations first. I think one way of making Shuri not completely trash is when you play Shuri, it only doubles the power of the next card you play in this zone. Meaning, um, oh, we can't do anything here. So that may, because people usually play Shuri and then they hide the Red Skull behind, you know, a Cosmo. But if you, you, you can't play Shuri in the Cosmo, right? So I think it would at least control the board situationally. Uh, all right, let's just do it. Uh, it's like one of those things, man. Do I snap here? Uh, I don't have Spider-Man. And it's going to come down to a staring contest. Who's putting more power down? Let's go play this. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, boy. We're both playing Wave. All right. Is this going to be a Galactus mirror match? Or it could be something else. All right. Well, okay. Man, I really wish we had Spider-Man. We don't have Spider-Man right now. All right, so the question is, are they playing Galactus 2? I suspect they are. I suspect they are. I mean, they could be trying to get Sandman out. You know, sometimes that could be the case. Uh, all right, I don't know if I want to snap here. Dang, do I want to snap? Yeah, I'm going to... I'm snapping for... But I... I well, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to win in a staring contest here. All right, let's go for it. Ugh. It's what this is like one of those where I probably would just play it safe. Move on. Let's see turn four play out. Maybe I'll get lucky and Spider-Man will show up in the hand and we'll both Spider-Man each other. Let's see what happens. Um, uh, all right, I'm going to get the response to this message in a second. It's fine. Here we go. Galactus popping up. All right, what do we got? Is it going to be a Galactus mirror match? Let's see what Scooter is scooting on. And, <laughs> um, not horrible. We have a free destroyer to play, sort of. There it is. There it is. Get this dirty leech player out of here. Let's go ahead and give him the... Wow. That's a great card you have there. It, it would be a shame. A shame, I tell you. I uh, actually, I, I, I mean, what did he... What, what did he they, they're not going to play a goblin on me. Yeah, there's no, play, no sense of playing Yonder. Let's go. Spider-Man, I'm up! Make this leech player suffer. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Yeah, this actually helps me out. I can just play. I mean, let's see. Let's see what happens here. We what can we get next turn? Um, we can get a Shang-Chi, maybe, and there you go. You're done. Get your dirty leech booty off my table, please, and thank you. And I will take this win. Gladly. Gladly. Hope you feel good about yourself, but <laughs> Doors over there. Take your leech. Get out of here. That's what I'm talking about, baby. And there we go. Another two cubes in the back. And just like that, a nice, convenient climb to 86. And that's how we do it. All right. I wish there was something I could put on auto. I have to respond to this message. It's going to take about five minutes. Uh, I have leech split five times. I hate leech. I, 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 I give you guys my whole speech on leech. Like, whatever. I, I, I'm going to tease people for having it. Do I hate you? No. I hate the card. Uh, don't blame the player. Blame the card. But I still, I'm going to tease the player. All right. Yeah, I got to hit the snap, snap, snap. Right? You got to do that. Um, all right. Just... All right. Ah, uh, shoot. I got to read this. Um, yeah, there's not, like, anything to auto. I mean, I guess I could. I'll just have to. I'll be a little quiet here. I'll be a little quiet. Crushing leech players are so satisfying. I know, right? Uh, all right. I have to read this real quick. Um, all right. It's going to take me a moment. Sorry about that. Um, all right. That could work out. All 
Uh, oh, that sucks. Well, we still have Galactus. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay. Live from the Daily Bugle. Nimrod. Ooh, I like that. And an Iron Man. That's not trash. Uh, all right. Let's see how this goes. I don't know if I want to snap. I don't. Oh, shoot. I should snap, shouldn't I? We got Spider Man. We got Spooder Man. Let's see what we have. Yeah, we have Galax and all. Yeah, I'm not really paying attention right now. So hopefully I don't screw this up. Uh, let's see. What are the other things I got to do here? Okay. All right, let's go. Spooter man him up. I'm a little quiet right now. Sorry. It's going to be about five more minutes, I think. Um, all right, let's go. All right. All right, so here's where the build comes due. Can I beat that? I think I can. That puts me, oh, we're gonna be short of power, aren't we? Oh, that sucks, right? That puts me at one, oh yeah, we're down one power. This is where I kind of wish I had Kang, where I can kind of try to intimidate them. Um, I don't know if they're gonna push through with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm double checking my works. So that puts me at, so technically this is 16 power. That puts me at 23. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Uh, yeah, I think we retreat. Maybe they'll retreat too because they're kind of vulnerable. They don't know if I have Shang-Chi. Uh, that's not going to be enough. That'll only put me at 14. That's, yeah, we're, we're, we're short one. Yeah, Red Skull's going to be one, but um, that's I'm still one power short. So, I, I, again, 16 plus 7 puts you at what? 23. Yeah, I'm hoping they're going to um, retreat out of here. Yeah, see, they stuck around. They stuck around. Uh, I, I'm actually kind of surprised they stuck around. You know, I could have had a Shang-Chi. I was one power short of just tying it. So kind of surprised they stuck in that one. Glad we didn't just go with it. Lost two cubes. I don't think I could have done anything with the District X holding it. All right. Um, gosh, I got to I gotta pay attention to this conversation I'm having here. Um, all right, just keep playing. I'll try, I'll try to be semi-focused. All right, Carmitage, we'll take advantage of that. Oh, God, seriously? Oh. All right, Professor X, okay. Oh, thank you. You're the best. There we go. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right, cool. We could maybe play Galactus turn four. Yeah, we can play Galactus turn four. Oh, let's see. Oh, I could have played. Yeah, I could have played Nightcrawl in the fifth turn. Probably that would have helped me out. Uh, yeah, I think we, I, I, I'm a, I'm, I have a really important conversation right now that I, I'm, I'm not really fully focused on the, the moment, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Yeah, we probably could have won that. Um, yeah, I don't know why we didn't. 
Well, I know why. I wasn't fully invested. There's this conversation. I can't wait till after the, the stream. I have to like talk about it right now. All right. Um. Yeah. Sure. Let's go snap it. Let's do it. Um. Okay. All right, well, I'm almost done here. I'm like halfway done. All right, Spider-Man, I'm up. Be that evil person. And I don't know if I want to put Yondu out there. I, I just always fear I'm going to get like Green Goblin or something like that. So I'm just going to do that for right now. And I'm almost done. One more thing. Friendly All right, let's see. Do we got it? Here. All right. And we got it. We won this 100%. They're probably going to stick with it. That's fine. And they did it. See, I was expecting that with the Red Skull player. They were bold and they stuck with it. Uh, yeah, see that with boom, Shang-Chi game over. There we go. That should have put us back on 86. All right, uh, almost done. Just got this last thing I got to do. All right, I think I'm done. All right, perfect. Sorry about that. Yeah, I had this is a uh, one of those conversations I can't wait. All right. Anyways, yeah, I have to catch up on you guys. I got. All right, let me see. What did I miss out here? I was too busy. Include Josh at the end of there. I, when I retweeted, it should. I think. I think it. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Let me see. I haven't checked the Twitter. All right, here we go. There you go. We'll see. I, I, Star Wars Theory has been pretty active. They've been like posting every day on Twitter. It looks like they've ever since they came back. I was surprised to see him come back. They've been like very involved. Oh, what do we discard? We lost. Oh, we lost Kang. Ah, all right. That's fine. Kang's just the, he's just the proofreader. That's all. All right. There goes our ramp. I mean, we can, we can still play Galactus turn five. Not the worst thing in the world. Um, yeah, we can't get rid of Electro. All right. Yeah, it's looking like this is going to be a little rough. Iceman got me good. All right, you shouldn't do tax that Christian while playing wise words and music Knackenberg. Hey, this helps me out a ton. Perfect timing. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, sometimes it's just those conversations that just come up and you just got to knock them dead. No, 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 not gonna, don't worry, though. It's not tax stuff. My gosh. Yeah, I, I, don't worry. I was I was working on stuff today. That's all that matters. All right. All right. All right. All right. We are going to be able to play Galactus this next turn, I believe, right? With Electro Superflow. I think we got a snap. All right. Question, question, question. So what do we, they discarded brood. This is probably, okay. A few ways of going about this. Do I want to go into that zone? It's pretty clogged up, right? But then I don't know. <sighs> hmm. This is kind of an odd one. I feel like I should snap here. I'm just trying to see what do I want to do. All right. You know, I think we're going to go for the Spider-Man play again. Let's just take two cubes. The, uh, the best they can do right now. Yeah. They, <laughs> they weren't even bothering. They're like, yeah, they, they couldn't do anything. They're, you couldn't Polaris me. The best they could have maybe done is be Professor X mean the right zone or Cosmo mean the right zone. Yeah, that was great. That was good. All right. Whew. A nice, nice, steady climb. Just keep it rolling, baby. Oh, Michael, how are we doing again? Michael, man, coming in again with the $5. Sorry, my super chat was glitching out. I tried the message when you were editing. Josh is more active than I think I did. I, don't worry. I, I saw the previous one. It didn't glitch out. I saw it. Yeah, I. Uh, it looks like uh, people are already kind of engaging with the tweet a lot. So we'll see. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if you missed what I said. I think Star Wars Theory, they're pretty active. They've been like posting like multiple times a day. And I was saying I'm pretty surprised they're going. Uh, they've been staying very busy on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, Michael. The feelers are out there. You're you, you're building the bridge. 
or I think we're just a few pieces away from that bridge being connected, Michael. Don't you worry. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. It's all in good time. All in good time. And then we have uh, Music at Akbar. I got you as well. All right. All right. I think we're all caught up. I think we're caught up there. I know. Now I'm back dialed in. Getting my nice steady two cubes. All right, there goes my Shang-Chi, Squirrel Girl. All right, what are we thinking? Patriot deck here, likely. So far, it's not looking great. No ramp. Um, yeah, it's not looking fantastic at the moment. So we need to start seeing. All right, we're going to do a backup play. Any options? Yeah, it's not looking great. Not looking good. Uh, we're going to maybe try to YOLO, do a Doc Ock into Sokovia. But this is likely. And then maybe we'll do a turn six bluff. We'll see how it goes. All right, thing coming in. All right, so we're going to pull out Doc Ock. Let's see what we can get. All right, let's see what Daredevil's got. So it's nice. I, you get a lot of info when playing this deck. Daredevil looking at turn five. Kang lurking at two, uh, turn six. So we're getting a lot of details uh, in between it all. Um, yeah, so, you know, we'll see. What do we got here? Blue Marvel. Okay. Um, Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. I was thinking maybe doing Strange Academy. I think that's going to free up that zone. I don't know. Maybe Strange Academy is a better call. Let's see what we got. We're going to yank it out. All right. Misty Knight. Ultron. All right. So we're done. I was kind of hoping for that. <laughs> Just so I could see what the final score is going to be. And now I can scare them. All right. Okay. We're, gonna, we're, we're just going to do a scare snap on them. All right. You got to be very aggressive. You got to snap right away because the, the, the urgency makes them think. <laughs> Freaking hey man, that was Kang right there. I had no play. I literally had nothing. I don't think I could have won that. So that's what I'm saying. If you're playing that, if you're doing the Kang bluff, the second you do that, you gotta hit snap right away. You just gotta put the fear in them. You can't snap after a few seconds. Thinking, you gotta do it right away. Kang just got me a free cube for no reason. I did not deserve that cube whatsoever. Oh, it's such a it's such a dirty card. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh that was that that, that was 100 percent just I, I i did not deserve that i deserve all the wins but i definitely did not deserve that one. Oh, man that was fun scare snap let's go <laughs> all right let's go ahead drop that in there oh it's great all right daredevil getting wrecked eh, it's not the worst thing in the world i think it's still Mm, yeah, it, it, it depends. If we get Wave or Electro turn three, then yeah, we're gonna. Okay, we're playing ball now. All right, what can I do with this? Oof, that's not bad. All right, I don't know what they're playing. We both got a ton of energy. I don't, I'm not gonna snap. I don't know what we're doing. But I kind of just want to clog up a zone here. Let's go clog up this zone. Let's go. There we go. Good zone. We picked a good one. Let's see what we got. All right. Okay. Shang Chi. Cool. That helps my null out. Ah, there we go. We have a clear board now. Okay. All right. Carnage going into arrow. All right. Coo, coo, coo. All right. So we have this secret little null that we just got some power off of. Let's go play you over here. So now here's the question. They're feeling pretty cocky right now, right? They, 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 they know they just eat it out. You see, here's one of those games where it's like, uh, I don't see a win yet. Uh, maybe we, if we get wave, we already got the Shang-Chi out. Uh, all right, I'll play this little game with them. I'll play it with them. Let's see how it goes. All right, so we got Daredevil. All right. Uh, we Okay, cool. So we have we have some options here. We have some plays. So what I could do is, yeah, I, I, I'm feeling like we might snap back on this fool. We have a Null and Destroyer player. Destroyer turn five, Null turn six. Let's go for it. And we're going to have some intel on what's going on this play. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right. All right, so let's get some intel from Daredevil. We could do a few things. We could play Spider-Man, and we have the intimidation factor of Kang on turn six that we could play. Okay. All right. Well, Super Rara, you're seeming very confident here. Let me see that confidence in play. I will see your last two plays here. All right, so we got death. All right, so probably we don't want to go down here with Destroyer. We're probably not going to have enough. I say let's go down here. We're going to snap on turn six, play Kang. And we have to have a very, you have to be very urgent with Kang. You just got to. So here we go. We're going to play Destroyer. All right, that's fine. We're going to play Destroyer. All right. Very quick enough. Let's, let's pretend we got our card. Oh, we got a great card. No, we didn't. 
we're gonna go now play king down middle and uh just let's see what we got so they're asking us is this worth eight cubes it's all about the charade it's all about the the showmanship let's see if king's gonna get us a win here i don't want to say it always works but it does work sometimes and it's free cubes for no reason uh so we're gonna see the final play they can't shang chi my destroyer so let's see what they're gonna try to do are they gonna solidify their wins in the other zones like so all right wave into yandu what is that it's five power okay all right I have this might be a, this might be a five cube or eight cube win. All right, so they they're gonna play those two cards. That's their best play, they think. If they play five there, that's not enough. If they play, yeah, I think we got this. I think we got this. Snap again on this fool. We have twenty three. Is that twenty three? All right. Oh shoot. What was the final score on that side? They had nineteen. I say we go back. We go over here. 19 just in case they try to put that wave over there or something okay all right uh, the question is did kang make them adjust their plans let's see what happens all right they split it around <laughs> all right i think this could be a huge this was a massive win for kang and this my friend is why i've been heavily appreciating kang double checked my work and we got a nice solid eight cubes out of that i am not complaining ignore the weird glitch it's eight let's go show you the big prize pool boom 100 king so so far we've seen king intimidate my opponents and then we it also plays even when i know i could win it makes my opponent think oh they're just king bluffing me and then i double down and we just stole eight cubes for them baby i've been loving king this season it's been doing wonders there we go slowly getting to 90 baby Ooh, what kind of crazy uh, Galactus variant you got there? Which one? Mine? Oh, that's an Incafide. I have a couple Galactus ones, but I'm trying to get a gold one. And then I'll switch out the variants. I have a, I have like three or four Galactus variants, I think, or something like that. It's a split, yeah. So when I... I've been using Galactus so much, eventually I got to a point where it got me an Incafide split. But I'm trying to go for gold. Let's see how it goes. All right. Okay. All right. So this is probably, you know, Sarah, Hit Monkey, Mysterio deck that JCG's playing over here. Okay. All right, we'll just play that over there for right now. Oh, you know what? Uh, okay, that's fine. I was thinking, you know what? Sometimes it's nice playing Galactus in the Quantum Realm. Oh, man. All right, I think here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do something kind of weird. We're going to play Wave. Yeah, so I'm thinking, guys, we're probably going to be playing a uh, Destroyer line here. Double Waves, Destroyer will destroy the Wave and destroy the other Destroyer. Give me a lots of power on Null. Oh, man. And we have Spider-Man to play on turn five. She, man. Oh, do I snap? Do I snap? Do I? Do I snap? There's the problem with these hit monkey decks. They don't put as much power as I'm going to put down. All right. You know what? Let's go for it. I'm feeling cocky after that eight cube win. And worst case scenario, King's going to cut my losses at the very end. All right. Since when was King a card? Oh my gosh, my friend. It was la last month, right? Or two months ago? All right, here we go. Wave there. Wave there. That's fine. We're, I don't think we're going to go the Galactus route here. All right. They're probably going to bounce it, I'm guessing. All right. We're going to now play. Yeah, let's go play the Destroyer. Over here, we have Priority. Uh, and this is just going to ramp up our Snow. Here we go. Boop. All right. Let's go put it up. Put it left. Put it left. Yeah, there we go. All right. Mr. Negative in play. We still have priority. Nicely done. Okay. Now we're going to be jerks. We're going to play. Oh, my gosh. This is 100% a snap game right now. Let's go for it. Let's lock him out of Sinister London. Spider-Man. We have the priority. We're going to get Yandu to get some more power over the null. Again, it's great having backup options. We have. It's kind of two decks built in one. Web him up there. Web him up somewhere else. What do we got? Go Vibranium Mines. All right. Kind of a weak one. It's fine. But at least we know they can't play double. All right, there goes Gambit. Nicely done. He's out of commission. Zabu's out of commission. And so far, we still have priority. Ah, just like that, they got back into the swing of things. Okay. I still think we got to hold on to... Uh... All right, so here's what we're going to do. Let's just play Death over there. We're winning in two zones. We're going to play King turn six or seven. Yeah, boy. Oh, that would they definitely cut me short of a great final play. But, you know, we're going to push it a little bit, right? 
<clears throat> let's go play uh, Electrodon Middle just to get some power down. All right, here we go. All right. We play Death over there. Electro down there. Okay. And let's see. We do I then let's see if we'll play King here. All right. We have Lady Thor coming out. All right. And probably what I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to. I can't imagine they have a fantastic play. Yeah, actually, maybe Electro is kind of dumb. I mean, hindsight's 50 50. We could have played Null and Vibranium. All right. Let's go. We have priority. So we're guaranteed to get King to pop off. Let's go for it. Are they going to go for it? Let's see the final score. Kang doing work. We're going to double check our homework. Just making sure we know what we're getting into. Null would be fantastic over in Quantum Realm. It's not going to negatively affect Null in the Quantum Realm because he's just an ongoing effect. If anything, it's going to help him out, I believe, right? It'll change his base power to two from zero. All right. So, JCG, it's all in your hands, buddy. How confident are you feeling that you're going to be able to beat two high-powered zones right now, bud? All right. JCG thinking. They're putting in the work. And it's time to see if they're going to pay the bill at the Waffle House today. <sighs> you don't want to be the person that pays the bill at the Waffle House, let me tell you. It's a sign of superiority when someone doesn't pay at the Waffle House. Here we go. Come on, JCG. Clock's running out. Come on. Just one good play. It's all you need. Let me see it. Because I see all. King is literally my in-game tactical scanners. Always one step ahead for the win. All right, JCG coming out in three, two, one. Okay, a lot of stuff being thrown down there. Perfect. So hit monkey likely. All right, Iron Man going down middle. Iron Man. All right, so that's 16 power. Going over there. All right, probably going to need... It's looking like we're going to abandon middle. All right, 24. That's fine. Wong over there. Okay, what do we got there for JCG? Hit monkey. That's going to get a lot of power. How much power are we talking about? And this is where Kang comes in handy. We probably dodged the bullet. Can I win this here? See, this is where I kind of regret not... Um, yeah, I don't know if Electro is a smart play to do. All right, so we have 24, 18, 32. 24, 13, 82. 24, 18, 32, 24, 18, 32. So we, we're losing in all three zones if they repeat the same play over again. I only can do one thing. That's all I can do. I think we just say, thank you, Kang. You saved me some cubes. Because if I didn't have Kang, I probably would have kept moving forward with this. Uh, Kang saved me uh, six cubes potentially in that one. Or at least two more. Yeah, we got to get out. We got to get out there. I ain't mad about that, though. I ain't mad uh mr negative mr negative give him the fist bump there we go retreat later there you go but hey mr he saved me two cubes that's where kane came in handy we had a really good play it's just that, that magic won that one for them them being able to extend it for one more turn was very good very very good on their part saved them all right let's keep moving let's get back into the what the, let's get back to 87 shall we yeah yeah, ain't no way you win it. No, no, no. Uh, the, that was 100% a magic play to win it for them. And the king play to save me from losing more cubes than I needed. And there he is again. Again, you know, king doesn't, it's not, he, he's three things. Double checking your work. Bluffing, intimidating your opponents. And also saving you the cubes. And in that situation, I probably would have moved forward. If not for, um, mm, do I want to get stuck with daredevil here? Eh, let's play this. So, uh, I mean, it's like likely they're going to I'm going to get locked in a Titania here. All right. I'm going to just play this over here for right now. Let's go for it. Let's keep moving. Yeah, Lady Thor was a good it helped them out a ton. Yeah, we didn't want to do that there. We, we would have been jammed the Titania. All right. Doc Ock, I need some ramp. But it's not looking like we're getting any ramp right now. Uh, yeah, this I'm not I'm not feeling this hand. I mean, we could still maybe Doc Ock turn five. They're playing a Shuri deck, obviously, here. Yeah, there's Cosmo. Get ready for the Shuri. It's a, yeah, this is pretty much just as telegraphed. Yeah, now with that zone locked in. Yeah, there's not much I could do. I guess what I could do, I suppose, we can wave, you know, over there. We'll get Destroy the play for free. It's not the worst thing in the world, you know? We don't have to worry about the Destroy effects, but... We are kind of locked in right now. If they snap, we're going to get out of this one. Yeah, there's not much of a play. 
Um, well, to, I guess to be fair, they're a little late on the Shuri play, right? Shuri needs to come off turn four for maximum performance. Right now, hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Okay. Shuri and the She-Hulk. Okay. That is quite a lot to deal with, isn't it? All right. So what most likely we're going to do, if they don't snap, <laughs> I'll do I'll do a Kang bluff. <laughs> see if it'll stick around. All right. Here we go. We'll just play that. Not much I could do. All right. Shuri into She-Hulk. All right. And then we got to be, we have to have urgency. All right. Okay. Does that help me out at all? Ooh, it does a little bit. All right. I'm going to do a, a quick bluff. We got a great card. Oh my. <laughs> it's, this is like, it's just such a last second. Like, oh, I got a bad hand, but you know what? Let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, uh, what deck do you recommend for pull three? That is the biggest question of all time. Give me a second here. I'll, uh, all right. So it's nine, 10, 39. Uh, we can't Shang-Chi that Cosmos save their bootes over there. And that's what I was saying. Maybe a way to balance Shuri is you only can double the next card you play in the same zone Shuri's in. Because then you can't do the whole cosmic. It just, it, like, it would have been great having Shang-Chi go through that. Now you can keep your cube, bud. There we go. Save myself from a possible two cube loss right there. Let's take a one. Let's take a one cube loss. Yeah, uh, pool three deck recognitions. That's like the biggest question of all time because everyone goes through pool three slightly differently than other people like i didn't get wong till the very end of pool three some people got wong in the early parts of pool three so what i would recommend is hold on i think it's untapped.gg right uh there's or is it uh no 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 what website is it marvel snap zone right and it can like sync up your roster and like show you okay based off your cards this is gonna be one of your better deck i think it's marvel snap zone right pretty sure it is uh henry maynard two pounds got known galax in one day holy cow any tips basically you try to run as close as you can to this deck that i'm using <laughs> congrats Henry. that's a boy in one day that's great uh yeah you got a lot of plays you need ramp get electro wave of some sort i highly recommend destroyer we had a lot of great destroyer null plays today uh spider-man's great if you're gonna do wave into galactus into spider-man turn five uh doc uh, basically this deck you're seeing below me i get you probably don't have kang you don't need kang Kang is just, you know, it's a cube saver. Um, Killmonger, if you want to get rid of some one cost cards. Like Killmonger maybe would have been nice here. So I can I could have gotten rid of it. You got a lot of options. But I believe it's Marvel Snap, so it can link your card collection. And I think, right? Oh man, it's one of these apps. I always lose track. Is it Marvel Snap? So I think it's Marvel Snap, so you can link your account. And it'll, based off your inventory, it'll say, all right, you can build this, this, and this deck. I'm pretty sure that's it. So I would check it out. Marvel Snaps, it's, it's an app you download on your PC and you can like link it all together. Uh, but hey, man, I'm super jealous. Nolan Galaxy one, that's one of my favorite decks. <laughs> Ain't no other way of saying it. All right, what do we got going on here? Okay, we have ourselves Wave. I got some Ramp. We got Daredevil. All right. Great for Noel. We might be aiming for Onslaught Citadel. Let's go play that Daredevil over to the left. You should collab with Educated Council staff. They want to collab. Just hit me up, man. Uh, oh, this is great. This is good. This is good. All right. We're going to play Wave. We got Galactus. Do I want to? Do I want to? Uh, it's just one of those things right now where we're not destroying a lot of cards. So I don't know if Noel's going to be incredibly helpful. All right, you know, let's snap. I mean, we uh, just... All right, we'll see it. We'll see where it goes. We'll see. Is it, is it snap fan? It's one of those, like the Marvel snap zone, snapfan.gg. One of those where you can sync up your collection. It might be snap fan. Just go look on the website. It's one of those two. I remember it does like one of the following where it's like, hey, you, I see you have this card and this card. You should try out this deck or something like that. All right. All right, all right, all right. So we have priority, so we can definitely go for it. All right, I say, I say, I say, so that's four, seven, nine. So we'll have a 19 power. No, they might throw something in the vault. Yeah, I mean, they don't, I mean, they don't, I mean, it's a good chance they know I'm running Galax. I mean, I could be running Professor X. I could be running uh, Dr. Doom or something. Let's go for it. All right, they're going down middle. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's see. All right, what card are they play? All right, um, Lockjaw, okay. Turn five coming in. I think we just hit him with the Spider-Man. Just take our two cubes and let's move on. Uh, we'll see what they pull out here. I mean, this I think it'll all work out. If they pull out, so hopefully they don't pull out Leech. If they pull out a Leech of Lockjaw, I'm going to...
to cry. Don't you dare. Freaking hell. All right. It's not the worst thing in the world. We have Destroyer. Yeah, get out of here, dirty leaks. You, you're going to snap on me? Here, snap on me. Come on. I triple dog dare you. You think you're, you think you're hot crap? Come on, Garby. You think you're so cool? Ha ha ha. You don't get your cards. Ha ha ha. Yeah, eat this. Give my four cubes and get off my table. Yeah, that's right. Get your garbage leech out of here. Yeah, give him my cubes. Get out, jeez Louise, man. Ugh. And that's how you handle leech players. That, that's kind of nice. It's one of the nice things about when I get leeched. I, I might have destroyer in the hand, and that's, that's nice, right? <laughs> King of Galactus, the cog, baby. Don't you forget about it. Is Snap Zone uh, on mobile? I don't think so. I think it's a web-based thing. So, like, you have to go on the website. And I think it's also an app you could download. Um, I'm not great with Marvel Snap tech support stuff. I just know that there's stuff out there. I don't think there's an app. I think it's, I mean, check, just go on the app store, look up Marvel Snap Zone or snapfan.gg or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure it's all on your web, the web base. So you have to go on Safari, Google Chrome, whatever the case might be. All right. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Uh, if they are running what's likely going to be a potential spam deck sarah hit monkey we are gonna snap 100 percent if i can get that electro to swap over there so let's let's read the room let's see what venom's up to is snap venom mobile perfect yeah look it up i don't know much about it they go for it yeah the that's the uh, despotic dang says snap fans on mobile So check that out all right so we're gonna play daredevil over there all right and then we'll play electro turn three let's see what's this wolverine all right they're probably playing a galactus deck of their own could be destroy deck we'll have to wait and see Oh, that kind of sucks. Um, you know what? It's not the end of the world. We can maybe just uh, Doc Ock in the bar of no name. All right. It looks like it might be just a normal destroyed. I think you probably easily get rid of this. All right. What we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to yank out their big cards, maybe win bar with no name. All right. Let's see what we got. I almost feel like I should snap here because we are going to play Galactus next round. I'm going to be able to play an efficient Galactus. But we don't really have a null yet. Let's wait till we see null. Then we'll maybe snap. All right. Carnage eating up all those folks. Let's see where the Wolverine pops. That's going to pop back in the middle. Okay. Doc, let's yank it out. Maybe we'll pull out death. I don't know. Let's see what we get. Death. There we go. We're winning this. We're winning that zone. Let's see. Maybe they'll have destroyer. All right. That's fine. What do we got? Nimrod. No, that works great for us. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Now, if only I had my Null Shelf. This is actually probably very snap worthy right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> that screwed them up so badly. And that's where Doc Ock is very helpful. All right. Well, we only got a cube there. I was ready to snap on that. But yeah, the, with them only playing one card a turn, I pulled out the Venom. Yeah, they, were, they weren't going anywhere. How we doing, David? I have a one-hour meeting in Comic, and I'm still playing Infinity. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be, uh, we'll be on for a little bit. Ah, oh, man. If they snap, we're out of here. I'm not going to screw with this. Oh, uh, we're not going to goof with this one here. All right. Yeah, I was, I was ready to snap on that. I feel like I probably could have got, I probably should have snapped when I was, before I did the Doc Ock play. Because uh, I know they had some big power cards in their hand. Yeah, it, you know, moments like that where I could have snapped a few more. Just a couple more. It would have been nice. Oh, let's see. Did I miss anyone else? I think I'm all caught up. Heck yeah. All right. Please tell me you got Reality Stone. All right. Well, if they're not playing Reality Stone now, that means I have to play Reality Stone if I get it. Um, Got She-Hulk. Uh, all right. As long as no one's snapping on me, I'll stick around. I'll stick it around. Trying to make it today? Probably not. Um... I've been enjoying it. It's been a nice steady climb so far. I think we thank you. Why could you do that earlier, bro? Oh, it's even worse. Ah! All right. Well, that sucks. All right. Well, yeah, this is boy. That's as bad as it gets. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we could play She-Hulk turn four. I know they don't have Shang-Chi. We got the Shang-Chi. So that's nice, I guess. Oh, wow. We got two. I'm I'm at. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're, we're maybe talking a different game. Is this worth? Uh... Oh, man. I could play two She-Hulks next turn. <laughs> All right. You know, 
All right, this isn't looking all that bad. Let's wait one more turn. All right, what do they got there? Electro. And what? That's my card. Is that my card? No. Oh, that, that Electro is my card. All right. Oh, Electro is maybe a bad thing for them to do. Yeah, I think that was probably a bad thing for them to do. All right. Well, let's see what they got. Oh, wow. You're snapping before you even play the Daredevil. Interesting. Okay. Well, interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, you got to show them what you're playing. You know, it's a little bold to snap before you even, like, at least play the card. I'm going to see what you're feeling confident about here. I got two She-Hulks in my hand right now. <laughs> All right. Boy, this guy must be feeling... All right. I, I'm just... I want to see. This guy feels really cocky. Uh, I'm debating if I want to snap back at this fool. All right. Dr. Doom. Um... I'm just trying to figure out, you know, let's see. We have two, boy, two She-Hulks. Boy, do I, I feel like they're going to be very like, ah, oh, crap. I messed up. Oh, Kang bluff incoming. Uh, well, if you're going to bluff, you got to bluff now, not bluff on the next turn. Yeah. All right. You know what? Oh God. I hate, but it's like, why? It's like, it's a rule. Never snap on district decks and weird world in one game. But I feel like I almost want to do it. All right, let's go for it. Let's see. All right. So we're going to play two She-Hulks right now. All right, Dr. Doom. Two She-Hulks. And they only can play one card, but now, geez. Freaking hell, man. Th like, there's like so much going on right now. This is probably the dumbest way to lose eight cubes. Holy crap. Uh, they might have my king too. We don't know. Oh, man. All right. Well, our best play is going to be a Doc Ock. But the question is, where do I put this guy? Do I put it over on right? I honestly have no idea. We know they can't Shang-Chi me unless they got a Shang-Chi from District. This is like the dumbest way. Of going about this uh doc ock has gonna put a lot of power down in one of these zones this is so dumb i almost kind of feel like i should back out now i feel like i kind of regret snapping that last play all they gotta do is just put like a little bit of power boy do i do i do i keep with it I was really hoping I'd scare them with two She-Hulks there. You know what? I'm not losing eight cubes over this type of battle. Nah, nah, I, we've been doing so good. I feel like it was already dumb doing that. Two She-Hulks mid dock right. I don't know if that was gonna be enough. We're already down on some points there. I, I, I'm not going to risk eight cubes. It, it's not in my deck. Why would I want to waste eight cubes on a deck that isn't mine? It was not mine in any totality. Yeah. You definitely exaggerated double shift. I was hoping it was going to be a little... This, I think it was really the New York that really messed it up. New York added way too much variance in there. There was three things. Weird World into District X into freaking uh, New York. Give me a second. need to end the stream a little bit early oh man i was uh yeah something came up might have to leave the stream a little bit early so we might uh how about this we might do snow guard testing tomorrow uh yeah it kind of sucks 
Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah, we'll do. I'll have to retitle the stream, put a different thumbnail up. And um, yeah, we'll have to come back probably tomorrow. Uh, do we need to remove the adapter die for slice purpose? No, no, we're good. The adapter die doesn't have any licensing problems. All right, what are we doing here? I got to pay attention. All right, we have Iron Man. Ooh, this looks pretty good for me, right? This looks pretty good. Uh, is that going to be enough power? Is that six? That's not a lot of power we're getting from Null. Yeah, this is only... Yeah, it's, we're only getting 10 power out of Null. It's not feeling good. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll do a Kang bluff or something. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. All right. Yeah, we're only getting 10. 11 power. Okay. Oh, man. Um, 11 power. See, here's one of those ones like, yeah, I don't know if I want to go all the way. I mean, I'll, I, I don't mind dropping two cubes here. I mean, um, all right, let's see what happens. We'll go for it. Two cubes. Probably, you know, maybe I should snap him. What is this deck going to drop? Yeah, hey, let's just keep it at two cubes. I'm not feeling good about this. Destroyer, I wasn't sure. Yeah, oh boy, they're gonna, they gonna snap? Oh man. Oh, okay, they didn't snap. All right. Maybe I should have snapped there. <laughs> you think Destroyer would have been better? Um. Well, we weren't gonna win the Iron Man zone. It's hard to say. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's, it kind of was gonna be a similar outcome, I think. I'll take that. Destro you think Destroyer was more? Maybe, okay. We got a cube out of it. I, uh, maybe I misread the situation. All right, yeah, you guys are seeing destroyers better. All right, I, I probably effed it up. I got to go back and rewatch that one. Yeah, destroyer. Yeah, maybe. I think, yeah. Probably, I think destroyer would have got me more cubes. Like, I think I probably would have at least got one more out of it for sure. Destroyer was way stronger than Null there. Oh, duh, that's what you guys, are. yeah, my gosh, that was a boneheaded play in my part. Yeah. I was so focused on Null Destroyer was 100% the better play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I thought you meant like playing Destroyer instead of Galactus. Like, oh, okay. That's a, maybe missed something really big there. Cloak. All right. What do we got here? Oh, boy. It is, yeah, we're not. No Galactus here. That's for sure. So what we're going to do, I think, is we're just going to wave. Oh, actually, actually. Hey, that's not bad. Okay. We'll just do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my, that is beautiful. <laughs> we 100% snap right now. 100 freaking percent. We're snapping on this guy. Let's just go lock him in this zone. Oh my goodness. Uh, two knolls in the hand feels real good. Ah, uh, this guy killed my groove. You killed my groove. Ah, uh, all right. Little unfortunate. Ah, oh, two nulls and I can't take advantage of them. <sighs> Dang. All right. Well, they can only play like one more card, right? Yeah, they're skipping out here. Ah! Cosmo, you pretty dog. Oh, man. All right. Well, I guess all I can really do right now. Uh, I guess what I could do is something like this. And then I could play two Knolls. It depends what Yandu hits up, you know? Might not be great. All right, so we're not going to get the web. Okay. Jug. Uh, only three power. Mm, okay. This isn't bad. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I was going to say we had a Destroyer. We could play Destroyer on the Cosmo. You make the best out of a bad situation. Destroyer there. Likely just tuck in another Knoll over there and call it good. All right. We got two cubes out of that one. Yeah. Yandu right, Spider-Man left. Oh, you know what? That probably would. Well, I was I was so focused on getting Null some power. I was hoping I was going to hit something good. So that's why I, I put the Spider-Man in the Cosmos, like whatever. And I put the, the Yandu out. Hindsight, yes. Probably would have flipped it. Spider-Man them out of the Morag. That was your 1,000%, right? That would have been way better. Would have been way better. Yeah, 1,000%. 100%. But, um, I was hoping I was going to hit, like, I don't know, a She-Hulk or Inf I mean, no one. I haven't really seen Infinite in a hot minute. That's for sure. When is Snowguard? Snowguard's in about an hour. 
And unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to cut my stream a little bit short here. Uh, I had a call come through. So uh, I think we're going to have to maybe, you know, look at the bright side. Look at the bright side. We, we could uh, do a second day of streaming tomorrow. I think that's probably what we'll end up doing. All right. Ooh, they got something good out of me. Do I get something good out of them? <sighs> All right. All right. This is not a really good exchange, but okay. Let's play ball. What do we got here? What do we got? Okay. All right. All right. There we go. We got Null, so that's good. We can take advantage of that. All right. We're going to play Daredevil there. Let's clog up. Let's clog up. Project Pegasus, maybe. Let's see what we got. All right. Daredevil going into Doc Ock. Let's see. Hold on. Are they playing Galactus here? Let's see. Gambit. All right. That's fine. Colleen Wing. Okay. Hand empty. What was the card they just played? They got Dracula down there. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. I think we got a snap here. Oh, yeah. We can web them. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's wait one more turn just to see if they're going to do something to that Nexus. I, I doubt they're going to do anything. I feel like I got I got a snap here, right? We're going to hopefully web them up. All right. Screw it. Let's not, let's not be too conservative here. Let's get all out balls to the wall. Web them turn five. Null turn six. And that should be enough power to hopefully win all the zones for us. Yeah, we got to. We got it. Yeah, get out of there. That's a Doc Ock win right there. Ain't mad about that. Ain't mad about that. Yeah, we would have webbed him up. No game over. There we go. Nice steady climb. How long have we been streaming for? About an hour and a half. We went from 85 to 87. Not, again, nice steady climbs. Not a lot of sexy four, eight cube wins. But we're, you know, nice steady climb. And then the losses have generally been, we, we did a couple stupid things like with that. Or I did. The District X level. It's like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have messed with that. But it's all good in the hood. All right, let's get some Yondu action out there. Will it give me something good? All right. Shang-Chi out gives me a lot of comfort. Not a good hit, but it's a safe hit. Ooh. Sanctum Sanctorum. I was thinking about going middle there. Something was telling me. We got Kang. All right, so we got the, a bluff potential that we can utilize here. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm not seeing anything great right now. All right, we got some ramp. Let's do it. All right, turn five. We might be able to play Galactus. Let's see if the guy shows up. All right, we're going to lose priority here, likely. Zabu. Okay, and there's the man of the hour. The question is, though, we're not going to get a lot of power here, are we? It's not going to be a lot. I mean, maybe they'll load up these zones. Um... All right, they're snapping. I don't know if I'm feeling good. You know what? Maybe I should play Kang right now. Should I maybe play Kang? Ooh. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take it to two cubes. I want to see what they do. First case scenario. This, I, you got to be very conservative with this stuff sometimes. All right. Could they be playing Cosmo? I don't know. All right, let's go for it. Friendly neighborhood spider Probably should have uh, played some Kang. Probably should have kinged it. There you go. Give him some fist bumps. Probably, I was, there was a part of me thinking Kang would have maybe saved me there. We could have maybe done Destroyer over there or something like that. There we go. Give him the two cubes. Give him the cubes. You know, like that one was like, ah. I had a feeling we should have Kang. I think I, the one thing, I think I'm, I, I like using Kang turn six. I don't really use Kang much turn five. But I think maybe with someone snapping on turn five, <laughs> man, they're going to get something good out of me. Parker! All right. We know they have Shang-Chi. That's, that's good info. I think we got to start getting comfortable. With maybe like, I think we could have totally played it differently. Kang would have 100% maybe done. Uh, pr I probably should have. Nah, I don't know. If, I don't know if bluff snapping would have done anything because they already snapped that turn. All right. Need a Valir. Need a Valir. All right. So we're going to go load this up in the middle. Kyla, hutch Yo, buddy, 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 buddy. Hutch, 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 hutch. <laughs> Relax. Relax. All right. All right. So no Galactus unless we play the... Nah, we're not playing Galactus. Actually, mm, 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 mm. Up, 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 up. All right. Well, we know they have... Um... All right. Let's go wave this up real quick. Wave it. All right. Cosmo, very original. Ooh, do I, do I, do I? All 
They're obviously going to play Suryu here in a moment. All right. What I could maybe do... I don't know if that's going to be good enough, though. All right. Let's, let's, just, let's go for it real quick. I'm not going to snap yet. Okay. There goes the Shuri. Now, yeah, Galactus would have been nice. Maybe should have went for the ramp and hope Galactus showed up. Um, hmm. Well, I think there's a, there's a window here. There's a window of opportunity here. What I could do is I'm guessing they're going to play. All right. We, we, Spider-Man's very critical here. I'm assuming they're going to put the Red Skull behind Cosmo. That's usually the go-to play. They could put it behind Armor, but then they leave. They, they have to go left. Oh, this is very tough. This is a tough call. I think there's a way of winning this. We just got to... Um... Because they, they, we know they're about to drop a Red Skull. It just depends. Are they going left, which is maybe ideal? Um, all right. This kind of it's going to be... Uh, fingers crossed. Let's see what we can do. All right, we webbed him out of there. Okay, they might not have Red Skull. But we have Kang, so I can do this. We're just going to play Kang down there. Let's see if they're feeling good, and we're going to see the final score. And this is where Kang could maybe have saved me from a potential loss. Maybe it's going to get us a win, depending on what this final play is. We have Shang-Chi. All right, they're going to play the She-Hulk down there. And I think this is going to be a win for us. And this is where Kang was gorgeous. Yeah, I think if I just play Shang-Chi over there. Right? Right. That's, yeah, that's their best play. We're going to go play just the Shang-Chi over on left. And that's it. Yeah. Let's do it, baby. All right. Let's hope they do the same thing again. I might lose a big cubes here. I mean, that's their biggest play. Oh, or no, no, yeah, it doesn't matter if they do She-Hulk in the same lane as Taskmaster. They can't put. They have to play Taskmaster left. We have second priority. Shang Chi left should win it, assuming they don't do something a little cheeky. They might do something maybe just like only like four power, three power to make sure they overcome it. Let's see. Is this their Shang Chi, by the way? That's their Shang Chi too. <laughs> uh oh, this could be problems. This. Yeah, what did I what did I say? Kang screwed us up. Yeah, what did I say? Oh, we just had a massive fat L right there. They they changed their game plan up. Yeah, they got me there. Uh, we could have won that if we played Doc Ock, but Kang made me feel confident they were gonna play the same thing again. Oh, that one hurts. That's our biggest loss of the day. And that's where Kang bit me in the butt. Sith ship kit reveal. All right, probably we're gonna do. Oh boy, I there, I was saying there's a good chance that they were smart and they had a feeling I had a Shang Chi. They would change it to play ever so slightly. All I had to do was play Doc Ock. We could have won it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're gonna do a quick uh, kit reveal uh, for Galaxy Heroes. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to call it uh, quits on the. <laughs> Snowguard, but I'm going to try to come back live tomorrow where we're going to test out Snowguard. I was hoping to get it done today, but some un uh, unexpected stuff came out. Please don't understand. Unfortunately, I have to. Some stuff came up. I had a phone call where I have to get off the telly, but I will do some. I'll, I'll take a look at this kit reveal with you guys. Oh, man, that kit. That, I, there was a part of me that was like, man, it was a 50-50 coin toss, right? Is either they were going to play the same play or they were just going to predict the Shang-Chi and just outdo it just a little bit. Oh, that one hurt. That one hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the sister. I, I, yeah, thank you guys. I saw it. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. I saw you. All right. Let's go take a look at this. Uh, has Snogger been released? Uh, well, we were going to test it out together, and it, it comes out in 48 minutes. I got to be off by then. Again, apologies. Unexpected stuff came up. All right. Let's go take a look at this kit reveal real quick for those that care about Galaxy of Heroes for the main channel. Uh, all right. Let's take a look, shall we? All right, Fury Class So we're just going to browse through this. Cornerstone of a new meta. Wow, that's some bold talk right there. They've never, I think, said that before. 
Sith Fleet brings buffs to a B-28 extinction class. And there you go. Two more ships are coming, it looks like. Wow, that's that's some bold stuff. New debuff, suspense. Provides benefits to ally. Oh boy. I hate that we ended on that king battle. Ah! Ah! <laughs> we have to end there though. Uh oh wow. That's that's some really bold stuff. Fury class and yeah, support sits at Empire. And I'm assuming this is conquest. Yep, conquest unit right there. Oh my. That's a lot. New debuff suspense provides benefits to allied Sith ships if dispelled. New buff stable bulwark defeat save. New buff reinforced determination short of the long stacking defense and corners of a new defining meta defining Sith fleet brings buff to B28 class extinction bomber. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Inspiration Star Wars the Old Republic brought us the ship in the storylines of both the Sith Warrior and Sith Inquisitor classes, making it one of the most recognizable ships from that era. Darth Malagus being an exemplar Sith Warrior. And Swotor also flies this class of ship, making his inclusion as the crew a no-brainer for us. We looked at the Dark Malix and stuff for inspiration for uh, the abilities. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, suspense can be given through basic ability. So who's Gary? I'm new. What can I say? Gary, do you want to introduce yourself to this person? They don't know who you are. <sighs> don't be, why are you camera? Don't listen. Don't be camera shy. Don't, let's, don't listen. All right, Gary. All right, fine. Uh, uh, Gary, just, it's, it's, it's just a quick hello. Okay, just quick hello. Who is that? Michael Rossi. They need to know who's Gary. All right, Gary, say hi real quick. All right. Gary. Yo, bud. No, Gary. I need no Gary. Michael, can you say hi to Michael? Can you at least like nod your head like a show that you're alive? Gary. Oh my gosh, this guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks, Gary. Ah, oh, jeez, this guy, man. There's Gary for you right there. Yeah, the most useless assistant I could ever ask for. What can I say, Michael? Uh, it's, it's one of those things where he's been around since like 2017 on my channel. And I, I feel like he has to be here just because. Yeah, jeez. Anyways, Michael, it's, it's a curse and a blessing to have Gary. Mostly a curse, I gotta say. All right. Continuing here. <laughs> the basic ability can spread debuffs from one ship to another. Ouch, that sounds nasty. Choose how you use special to wisely. Why is this a conquest unit? Conquest are more powerful than a galactic chase ship, allowing us to have more flexibility. I'm going to disagree with that. The freaking TIE Defender has been way more impactful than the Scythe. I call BS on that. I got to remember to say that in the video. That's what I thought. There you go, Michael. <laughs> he's getting a facelift soon, too. So he's going to look a little prettier, I think, at some point. What if I don't have Malgus? Good news, Malgus is now in proving grounds. If you have 4 million GP, and it only takes like 12 months to get. We're gonna use the Sith ship in the meantime. We have two more Sith ships coming. You'll be able to acquire those before you unlock the Fury class. All right, so all right, so two more beforehand. Okay, uh, let's look for any teasers in here. Deal physical damage to target enemy for each ability block concussion mine. What is this? Enmity class precision laser cannons. Deal physical damage to target enemy for each ability block, concussion mind, healing immunity, health down, shock, or suspense, prevent on uh, other abilities. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of stuff going on in the basic. Physical damage for each ability block, concussion mind, healing immunity, health down, shock. Is there a Sith ship that applies shock? I don't think we have any ships that apply shock in general. Or suspense presence. Inflict those debuffs on target. Ah, oh, so it's kind of like Darth Treya, almost. Almost, where Dartre can on her basic spread debuffs from her team. It's kind of the same thing. Inflict those debuffs on target enemy for one turn. If there are no debuffs on the enemy side, inflict suspense on the target enemy for one turn. Man. Um. Yeah. Okay. Which can't be evaded or resisted. Can't gain buffs. Gaining bonus turn meter, recovering protection, or gaining protection will inflict defense down. Yikes. Which can't be evaded or resisted. If suspense is dispelled, increase cooldowns by one. Yikes. So it's like a fear which can't be resisted if suspense expires and not dispelled all sith and sith empire enemies ooh, first call to sith empire ships gain a stack of we have returned <laughs> you guys know how it goes which can't be copied dispelled or prevented oh wow that's a deadly basic ability right there heavy seeker missiles cooldown of two very low cooldown wow deal true damage to true damage wow okay target to target enemy equal to 15 percent of fury class intercepts so kind of like his mini insta kill he has on the character himself uh interceptors max health and inflict suspense for one turn again all that stuff sith allies recover 20 percent health and protection double for sith empire yeah i i fully expect we're gonna get more sith empire ships then man what other sith empire ships could i mean have i mean i guess they could release something for sith empire trooper maybe 
my gosh uh path to power special too and all oh, wowza that's gonna be yowza there's not a lot of mass swarm sh abilities on ships except for like capital ships that's wow scary inflict debuffs on target enemy for each active sith and sith empire ally uh allies that are both count twice so if it's so malgus is a sith and sith empire so maul would be only sith not sith empire so only, only once so if you have one ally assist inflict healing immunity three ally assisting burning wait 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 i'm guessing active also includes reinforcements right because you can't have seven on the field I, this has to be seven on the uh including the reinforcement is there a ship that that revan had i'm wondering uh, two more I, i'm expecting one for sith empire and you think the ravager is the other one i don't know if that's the capital ship it sounds like we're getting a like another normal sith ship and then maybe we'll have a niles at some other point in time all right galaxy and flames unique ability sith allies have 30 percent tenacity double for sith empire allies at the start of the battle sith empire tanks gain taunt is this guy taunt he's a support oddly enough not a tank here sith empire tanks gain taunt so this is gonna make the sith bomber more useful and fury class interceptor and sith empire tanks gain stable bulwark for the rest of the battle when stable bulwark is lost sith empire tanks taunt for two turns when a sith ally takes damage they gain a stack of reinforced determination until the start of their next turn allied sith ships gain an additional 25 percent defense per stack of reinforced determination wow double for sith empire ships and what does bulwark do 100 percent defense and offense yikes 50 percent. what the hell man this is nuts yeah i could see why they're getting it i mean we'll have to wait and see they say a lot of stuff but this is a lot of stat boosts going on 50 percent max of the max protection 25 percent critical chance and critical damage and the first time this ship is reduced to one percent health it's like a savior mechanic it recovers 100 percent health gains a bonus turn and gains five stacks of reinforced determination not to be confused with reinforced hole that's a uh, that's different that's what mando has for one turn it loses stable bulwark and when you have reinforced determination 50 percent defense per stack yikes and reinforce a rage of korban enter battle all sith allies gain a stack of reinforced determination so this right here all sith allies gain 20 percent protection up Double for Sith Empire, inflict target enemy with suspense for one turn, which can't be avoided. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if that's boy. It, it seems like you want to have Malgus out right away. So I don't know if we're gonna use that. I don't know. There's obviously more stuff we're missing out on. Yeah, it, it's almost seeming like that. Uh alright, so do they say like any suggestions on what the capital ship they recommend for the meantime? I'm assuming we're building up to that likely. Nihil it's not so we know Malgus isn't getting a cap ship so it's Nihilus back on the menu for the forefront runner for a possible Sith capital ship oh uh, man okay is this conquest no it's a conquest yeah it's conquest Tyler so uh yeah oof so two layers of conquest to build this fleet one round for Malgus another round for this ship yikes yikes I hope I'm hoping it's gonna be a five-star unlock I'm not seeing anything Eesh oh wow did infinite no no today's not an infinite climb that we had we we had a really good run until the very last play uh we got bamboozled a little bit unfortunately um you, you can go back and watch i'm gonna have to cut the stream a little short I'll, I'll retitle the stream and everything so it's not misleading all right let's get malgus up here so yeah we not a lot a lot more questions and answers right now but i do see how this is gonna be pretty nuts pretty nuts you got infinite nice congrats pj good stuff good stuff five or seven star. It doesn't say we don't have a lot of info it's more questions than answers but basically it's malgus and like darth treya kind of combined here maybe the capital would be sith empire what's i mean what are some hold on let me see what suggestions are there give me a sec um malik's leviathan i mean but it's, yeah maybe it could be here let's pull it up all right and then we'll pull up darth nihilus okay 
It'll be seven stars since Conquest. Well, to be fair, the Interceptor was five stars. Razor Crest was five stars. What was the last? Hold on. What are the other ships that we had in Conquest? Let me double check. Um, Scythe was a. I think Scythe was the first seven star ship unlock. Right? It was seven stars. It was seven stars. Yeah. So I, it's. I'm guessing if I had to put money down, they're probably gonna make it a seven star. Uh, likely i would love a five star unlock but you know <laughs> of course i would right all right let's bang out this video real quick i think i kind of understand i mean we i understand what they're trying to do but i we're missing out so much pertinent information malik being a cap ship over Ma uh, malgus would be odd well basically i'd say don't expect a malgus capital ship it's not gonna happen there we i mean i would doubt they have two ships pilot a capital ship and a ship piloted by one person so I would say Malgus is off the table for a possible capital ship. I think it's pretty much it's guaranteed to be either Nihilus, Malik. Maybe there's something else. Yeah. Okay. All right. I like this song, Gary. Give me uh, let's get the AHN rolling. Yeah. Let's do some AHN time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get some silence in the set, shall we? All right, Gary. Silence. Restart the song. Restart the song. Okay. You ready, Gary? No, no. That's it. Just go. Listen. You don't gotta say anything. Just sit there. I I ha I have the talking points. I don't need you. Oh gosh, Gary. All right, silence on set. Three, two, one. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen of the beautiful Kyber Empire. It's great to be. In the Sith Empire today, it looks like it might be. CG has just announced their brand new Conquest unit and kind of like what we expected and they accidentally let it out a little early. Darth Malgus is getting a Fury Class Interceptor for this next round of Conquest starting next week and they did something they've never done before to my recollection. They outright just said, this is gonna be the cornerstone of a new meta-defining Sith fleet, and we have confirmation there are more Sith ships coming. And the big question is, what's gonna be the capital ship, which they oddly, vaguely keep it out of the pose. Let's go bring you guys on over. A lot of stuff going on here. Say hi, everyone. We're on the second channel right now, streaming some Marvel Snap, and this came up, and we got to talk all about it. So a few things, just a reminder, Conquest unit, being piloted by a Conquest character. But they're like, don't worry, guys. Malgus is gonna be improving grounds now. Wow, you only need 4 million GP and then many, many months of getting that character. And then you gotta do a second round of conquests to get this. So one thing that's telling us right now, they aren't scared of having a double layer conquest thing and especially a conquest character piloting a ship. So we were saying, oh, they're not gonna make Admiral Trench a pilot or something. I, I totally expect we're gonna get some sort of Admiral Trench capital ship and they'll just make uh, Trench a part of it, even though it's conquest. A little scary in that part. And as you can see, conveniently down here, two question marks they claim that by the time we get the malgus uh, interceptor unlocked we're gonna see the other two sith ships and unfortunately i think that basically tells me this is gonna be a seven star unlock no confirmation but five star unlocks are very fast i wish it was a five star unlock like the razor crest as well as the tie interceptor unfortunately that's not the case another few things to know our first sith empire ship a lot of sith empire bonuses it's basically like the malgus lead combined with treya a little bit with this fleet and a lot more stuff to come. But there you go. Cornerstone of a new meta-defining Sith fleet. We're going to see huge buffs to the B-20 Extinction Class Bomber, other Sith, and Sith Empire ships. So we don't have any other Sith Empire ships, I guess, except just the uh, Marauder as well as the Sith Assassin. So very curious. Do you guys think one of these is going to be a capital ship? Uh, right now, people, there's two things. We know there's that Darth Nihilus like from way back when, but he's not really a Sith Empire. I mean, maybe it's not going to be piloted by Sith Empire. Maybe it's just gonna be a Sith capital ship, our first one. Another idea out there is the Leviathan by Malik. Uh, we have some stuff for a Sith ship, or for a Sith capital ship. It's just a question of which one it's gonna be. Let me know your thoughts down below. I do expect maybe a Sith Empire trooper ship. And then I just don't know if that's a capital ship or if that's just a normal ship. We'll have to wait and see. But they make no suggestions as to use this with Grand Moff Tarkin, use this with yada, yada, yada. So it's gonna be kind of curious to see how all this works out. Uh, I, I wanna call out one thing, hold on they were they were saying this right here this irks me a little bit why is this a conquest unit conquests are more powerful than a galactic chase ship i call bs the tie defender is so much better 
than the the size uh, like hands down it's so much better but maybe it's just maybe i'm just maybe i'm just kind of cherry picking a few things but cs we know razor crest is good at the bounty hunters and we know the tie uh interceptor is pretty good but anyways let's move on here yeah what if you don't have malgus oh it's improving grounds don't worry and as they say right here where can i use this ship in the meantime they just said there's two more sith ships coming you'll be able to acquire those before you can unlock the fury class in conquest so i don't know if we're gonna see a new sith capital ship yet my expectations maybe later on this year around august september we might get another capsule that's usually the the, the cadence for capital ships executor profundity kind of came out around that time anyways let's get into the kit reveal here abilities basic enmity class precision laser cannons it's a big chunky basic ability that's going on here and it basically sounds like dark tree's basic ability deal physical damage to target enemy and for each ability block concussion mine healing immunity health down shock or suspense new debuff present on the other enemies inflict those debuffs on the target enemy for one turn so kind of like trey where she takes all the debuffs from your team throws it over on the opposing team that's how they're doing it here it's a little bit different you're kind of it's kind of like cassie i think it's a better way of putting it cassie kind of connects all the debuffs onto a single target i don't think we have a shock ship right now i'm like i'm double checking my imperial kyber records i'm not seeing any shock so we might be seeing some shock coming around you know we have some ability block and ships concussion mines are from the uh the marauder ship we do have some healing immunity health down shock i don't think we have yet i don't know maybe a revenge ship of uh, some possibility uh, if there are no debuffs on the enemy side however you inflict suspense on the target enemy for one turn which can't be evaded or resisted they took a lot of inspiration from doubt one of the malgus effects from the character side of thing and they're bringing it into ships and altering it a bit you can't gain buffs when you have doubt you can't gain bonus terminate recover protection so pretty much just like doubt or gain protection up and it will inflict defense down for two turns which can't be evaded or resisted and if suspense is dispelled increase the cooldowns by one which can't be resisted kind of like when you dispel doubt it turns into fear on your team and the character side of thing and if suspense expires and is not dispelled all sith empire and sith enemies uh all sith and sith empire enemies gain a stack of we have returned for four turns again kind of like the we have returned on the character side of thing which can't be copied dispelled or prevented my oh my that's a lot for a big guys that's just the basic <laughs> we're not even onto the other things right now we have heavy seeker missiles cool down to very low cooldown so basically every other turn this guy is gonna be using it unless they have some sort of cooldown reduction mechanic that we don't see yet deal no why did gary i don't want to update this man does it look like i want to update my camera hub no i don't even use it oh geez gary man time and place you're worse than microsoft window updates anyways apologies for gary deal true damage to target enemy equal to 50 percent of fury class interceptors max health so very much like dark deception on malgus i'm guessing it's gonna be a pretty beefy ship oddly not a tank it's support so it's gonna kind of be weird when we read the unique abilities but let's we'll get there when we get there and you're gonna inflict suspense all that right there for one turn sith allies recover 20 percent health and protection and then doubled for sith empire allies i really am believing they're building a sith empire fleet and I want to believe that Leviathan is more likely to happen than Nihilus at this point. It, it'd feel weird if Nihilus is piloting or leading a Sith Empire fleet. I don't know. Maybe it could just be a generic Sith fleet. We'll get there when we get there. Special two, Path the Power, cooldown of four, mass swarm capabilities. We don't have a lot of mass swarm ships in the game. Like characters, there's a lot of them. You can, I don't have enough fingers. I have to borrow Gary's fingers and still not even have enough to count all the mass swarms we have. Mass swarms are gonna be a lot more powerful in the ship side of things. Call all Sith and Sith Empire allies to assist, inflicting debuffs on the target enemy for each act of Sith and Sith Empire ally. And it counts twice for those that are both. So kind of like Darth Vader who counts Empire and Sith as double, they double dip you're double dipping here and it's also counting your reinforcements so you're probably not gonna want to have the underdog on the sith fleets potentially because normally sometimes you only bring one or two reinforcements but then you're gonna miss out on this which is gonna really shut down hounds too let's read if you had one ally assist inflict healing immunity for two turns if you have three plus allies inflict burning for two turns if you have five plus allies inflict suspense for one turn which can't be made or resisted if you have seven plus allies which obviously unless they change the deal maybe they'll have seven allies onto the field if you have seven allies so three on the field and a couple in the reinforcements or whatever four in the field three in reinforcements inflict shield disruption for two turns that's a lot of divas most of the swarm abilities on ships are kind of me uh, left for like the capital ships like you know negotiator has one the 
Akbar has one, Executor has one, you know, so, but it's not very common to have mass swarms on just the ship itself. So if you have another capital ship that does another mass swarm, kind of scary stuff. Unique ability, Galaxy in Flames. Sith allies have 30% tenacity, doubled for Sith Empire. So it's gonna be hard to land those debuffs on these guys. And at the start of the battle, Sith Empire tanks gain taunt for two turns and the Fury class interceptor and Sith Empire tanks gain stable bulwark, another new effect, which we'll get there in a moment. So unfortunately, Malagas, although a tank in the character side of things, not a tank here. So as of now, with all the Sith ships we have, this is basically making the Sith, uh, the Sith bomber be, the, be a pre-taunting tank, more or less right there and then when stable bulwark is lost which we'll get to sith empire tanks they regain taunt for two turns so it kind of reminds me a bit of uh the the the, the galactic public blt sandwich that i like to call uh, when you're losing the unending loyalty it pops a taunt so i think it's kind of in a similar vein to that and then when a sith ally takes damage they gain reinforced determination not to be confused with reinforced hole a little bit different kind of similar but a little bit different until the start of their next turn Allied Sith si ships gain an additional 25 defense per stack of reinforced determination and then doubled for Sith Empire ships. So if you have five, you're going to get 50% each. And what is that? 250% defense. Gnarly, especially when you consider all the other stats that are being baked into all this. And then Stable Bulwark, what that is, is 100% defense and offense. It's like best of both worlds. Usually it's just offense or defense. No, it's both. 50% max health and max protection plus 25% critical chance and critical damage. And the first time this ship is reduced to 1% health, it recovers 100% health and it gains a bonus turn. Bonus turn. So it's not like reinforced hole where when you lose it, you get the health back sort of, but you don't get a bonus turn. And then you get five stacks of reinforced determination for one turn and you lose the stable bulwark. And what reinforced determination does, 50% defense per stack. So yeah you're going to have a lot of defense just with the, the 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 effect itself and the additional stacking you got on this unique ability too very durable fleet very very durable and then reinforcement I, i'm we we don't know everything we have more questions than answers at this point so i don't know if this is gonna be a ship that's gonna be in the reinforcement uh, we're gonna have the other sit ships out before this is finally in place so probably a better idea but it sounds like right now i want this i want the fury class to be out there right away but Rage of Korriban, the uh, Korriban, it's a Korriban, of Kor it's like people say Bo-Katan, Bo-Katan, Millennium Falcon, Millennium Falcon, potatoes, potatoes, I say Korriban. Enter the battle, all Sith allies gain reinforced determination, so that defense right there for one turn. Then all Sith allies gain 20% protection for two turns, and then double for Sith Empire allies. Inflict target enemy with suspense for one turn, which can't be avoided. Just a reminder, we don't know what this fleet's gonna look like. If they do go down the direction of Leviathan with Malik, what is Malik famous for? It was the, like the first character to combine health and protection into one. They might do something in that vein with this fleet with Leviathan potentially or some Sith, other Sith Empire ship. And what is bonus protection based off of? It's based off your max health. And if they combine your max health of protection, this protection up is going to be nasty bigger than what's really being seen from the naked eye right now so overall overall it sounds cool i i, I I'm, I'm i'm a little cautious but i have a feeling the we always get one big meta fleet a year i do suspect we're going to get a leviathan a ravager i am not i feel like they're not bluffing when they're saying corners of a new meta defining Sith fleet i just feel slightly burnt with the site it's funny ever since they kind of nerfed the one trick we found you actually have a higher success rate of beating Radis without the Scythe on an Empire fleet than with the Scythe, which is pretty wild. If you think about it, the, the Scythe should have increased the odds. It made it worse or equal or in, in, depending on the composition, maybe slightly better than what was before. So I have a feeling we're not going to run into that again with Scythe being kind of one of the more lackluster units in the game as it stands right now. So get your Sith ready. It sucks how gated this is. Conquest unit into conquest unit, and we don't even know how the capital ship might be in there at some point as well. Oh, yeah, I'm getting corrected. Yes, you're correct. Yes, I know I'm going to get a lot of comments. I guess the first Sith, let's give credit where credit's due. The first Sith to combine health and protection was Darth Nihilus Lee. Thank you, Chad. Who was it? That was Alpaca Seth. Yes. All right. Strength of the Void, but it didn't do anything. Malik was the one, the first one to really make something out of it. But yes, let's get a fact check in there. Thank you. I can rely on you more than Gary, apparently. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, look at Nutty. Do you believe CG's not lying about this new meta-defining fleet? 
Looking forward to it. Sith Empire was a lot of fun. And all I could say is, man, if you're a Sith lover, older public lover, I think this is going to be a good year for y'all. Time will tell, but leave that like, comment down below. And all your beautiful thoughts, be sure to subscribe around here so you're not missing a thing. We'll catch you next time. Whenever this ship gets unlocked, three months, but I'm sure we're going to have other stuff in the meantime. But more importantly, until we meet again, my friends, please always remember, although it's great to be in the Sith Empire today, it's great to be in this empire today. Bring it back on over, Gary. Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys are fantastic. Thanks for the little uh, fact check at the very end there. Yeah, honestly, it was the first one. All right, guys. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. As I said, I am going to have to hop off here. Uh, I got some last minute thing kind of came up a little unexpected. But uh, tomorrow, I'm going to post uh, Trench gameplay on this, the main channel. And that'll probably be an early day. And then we'll come back for Snow Guard testing tomorrow. So uh, we'll... We'll make up. I was really planning for a long stream today. Something came up, but I'll catch you guys later. Guys, thank you so much for coming out on the second channel. The super chats are overly generous. Rich Homie Laquan, Michael Rossi, Colin, Caleb Weeks, Michael Rossi, Michael Rossi, Music Recover, mostly Michael Rossi today. We have Music Recover, they have Henry Maynard, and a lot of Michael Rossi's as well. And then, yeah, look at my profile pick on Bluebirds is Michael. Let's go check it out real quick. Let's go check it out, Michael, before I take out here. I saw your super chat came in when we were doing the kit reveal. Sorry for the delay. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Where is, uh, where's Michael? Where's your pup? Uh, where's, uh, I'm not seeing, oh, there's my pup. Look at, oh, your profile pic. Oh, your profile pic. Where are you at, bud? Profile pic, profile pic. Is that you, Michael? That's you. Let's go check. Oh, is that a, is that, I can't, I can't, that looks like, is that a black lab? I had a couple labs growing up. I, t I guess technically my Harley is like, a, she's like a black lab mix of golden retriever mixed with the, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Sheba. I think that's what they was. You know, what are those things? Purple tongues. Oh my gosh. It's, uh, it's like a dog that was from Mongolia. Is it a Sheba? I, what the heck is it? Uh, it's, it's a mutt, but almost, it almost kind of looks like Kylo. Almost. And I, it looks like he has the, the floopy ears. Love it. I love it. Thanks for sharing a part of your life with us, Michael. Thank you for being such a big part of our Kyber Club in the past, what is it, a couple weeks, month? You're here like every time. Main channel, second channel, Michael. You're absolutely amazing. Uh, hopefully, you know, we get that uh, fun little collab going. It looks like people are kind of stoked to see that, you know, maybe uh, maybe it'll happen. <laughs> Let's make it happen. $200 of my birthday fund. <laughs> there we go. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, again, I'm open to it. I, I don't want to, like, pressure Star Wars there. If they don't want to do it, I completely understand. You know, they just might not want to, you know, maybe they're busy or whatever the case might be. So if it happens, it's going to be awesome. And then it's a black lab and golden, so it's kind of basically like my Harley. My Harley's got, like, an extra layer in there. Where's Harley? Harley, hutch do. Harley, hutch do. Your request is being pressed. Hutch do. Harley. Harley, Harley. Treat. I got treats only way i can get this dog here treat oh that's kylo I... harley treat treat you coming she's old woman harley treat hutch to harley harley you're good girl hutch to hutch to come here oh that's look this is kylo harley hutch harley are you being camera shy right now come on hutch to treat yeah treat yeah treat I don't have tree. I'll give you one after. Can, can, you, can you see her? I don't think it's here. Uh, you can kind of see her. Can you hop? Can you hop? Hop, 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 hop. Okay. Uh, she's being a little camera shy, but you can kind of see her, right? Kind of see her? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. She's very floofy. Dogs are the best. 100% they're the best. What? What? I know she's got a purple tongue. All right, Harley, come here. One more time. Harley, hutch. All right, hutch. I didn't. Okay, she's being. Okay, he's, he's, he's a free spirit right now. Oh. Hey, hush. She knows something's up. Can you hop? Can you hop? Hop. Hop. Yeah. He's, okay. Oh. She's got a purple tongue. That's what makes her unique. There you go. Ready? Boom. Yeah. So, uh, okay, Kyle got the ball. 
<laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to be peacing out here. Thank you all for coming to the second channel. Uh, stay tuned for the, the, the video on the main channel. We'll talk more about Star Wars there. Some Marvel Snap tomorrow. Marvel Snap. Yeah, Marvel Snap tomorrow. Galaxy Girls for all that fun stuff. We need a good song the way out. Hold on. Yeah, this one's feeling pretty good. Us. Give it to yourself. Round of applause. And always remember, baby. It's great to be in the Empire today. Goodbye. Hurry back.